Welcome everyone to day two of season 14 playoffs. My name is Jared, I'm here with Space Coast, and the first match we have up for today is going to be Froyotek versus Cozy Black. This is uh, going to be a nice little rematch. I think we saw them play, was it Product in the regular season? Uh, that was a pretty good showing. I think it was a 4-2 to two in Froyotek's favor, if I remember correctly. That was correctly. a close one. Yeah, it was a close one. Very entertaining, and I don't think we should be expecting anything different uh, even with the roster changes coming into this BO3, so and, you know I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, got honestly got a lot of pretty close matches uh, in this entire round and for the rest of the day. Is if you thought that yesterday was a lot of TF2, that was two BO3s. Today is three BO3s. We're ranging from six to nine maps, and it's going to be a long one today. So uh, better better prep yourselves, and we'll see what we have in store for us as the day goes on. I think we're still waiting for info, so we're not that close to the actual uh, game starting. So if you, this is your warning that you have a, you know, you got a little, little bit of time left to go do what you need to do before the game actually goes live. But surely within the next five or whatever ten minutes, it, we should be good to go as uh, things, things are starting to shape up. But uh, space, are you ready for the long haul today? I am ready for the long haul today. I got my water, I got my snacks, I am ready to go, and I'm ready to. I'm glad we're starting off on kind of a banger today. But like Fro versus Cozy, you know, could be a preview of Grand Finals, depending on how things shake out. But should be interesting to see, you know, we talked to Cozy uh, last night after their victory over GC. And they were talking that they were excited, you know, they, uh, it's not the biggest deal if they lose, because, you know, you can always play through the lower bracket, but they wanted that upper seed, that uh, extra map advantage in playoffs is pretty huge. So it always really nice to huge. get that upper seed. We've seen some playoffs where a team goes to the lower bracket and wins it. Uh, in the past however many years but definitely there's been some like all right you know if we if we were to it, have right? that uh yeah i Freya did it once i think witness gaming the first ever victory they got yeah they did it once uh, what was that like season six yeah that was a long time uh, <laughs> ages and eons ago yeah I, yeah like i said years but um either way it's definitely a really big advantage you don't want to pass up but you can take a little look at the bracket here and see what happened yesterday and there are only two games of the bo3s that actually went to a third map i think rome took a sultry victory off of global clan but ultimately lost the one of their map pick bagel but then lost the other two maps against Mako county and everything else was a 2-0 across the board we already have one elimination anglerfish is out as well as the imaginary eighth of team that doesn't exist they would have also it by week is also out and gone but uh look at this look at this round one bracket seed one versus two three I was versus gonna four and five yeah. versus six it's it's uh it's it's actually crazy how you know it like mathematically smoothed itself out very nicely thanks to uh the upset win of who was it Monica caddy over mafia yeah because mm -hmm. of that it smoothed that nicely so uh I, I don't know if other people are casting it but we got global clan and mafia happening at some point along with Monica caddy and rome but I think I think Global Clan versus Mafia is being casted. I see casted. Fireside Mafia... one, 1 and 2 active, so... Okay, then they're covering both of them. Yeah. So they're all... I don't think there's there's a lot of good choices for maps. It might be one of those strats where you just pull up multiple Twitch streams and just to keep track of them all because we're we're entering the territory where there's, like, no more just, like, bad matchups. I think the rest of the, the, rest of the run is going to be, like, really close uh, with whatever be, yeah. team you're watching. So it's pretty hype. It is pretty hype indeed, and... Uh... Definitely uh, more than enough TF2 for today. You, know, you can always watch the VODs too later on if uh, you know you can't you can't don't have the attention span or the correct amount of monitors to catch them all. But that's true. For the meantime, we're going to focus on Co Royal Tech versus Cozy Black because that is the match we're going to be casting. We don't have the info yet or anything like that. But we got it now. Do we? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> Thanks for letting me know because I am oblivious. It's on MGE. Baby steps. Ooh. We'll change the map eventually. But uh, let's take a look at what maps we're actually landing on. I guess it's important to go over the rosters as well. We'll do that too, either or. One of one of the two is probably important to talk about. But you can see, ultimately, we are landing on Metalworks, uh, Gullywash, and Sunshine for this BO3. So pretty cookie cutter staple. Maybe not so much when it comes to Metalworks per se, but I mean, Metalworks has been around at least. Interesting that Frantec uh, product was left in, it looks like, but was not picked at the end. So does he been Bagel at the last second? And uh, Freya taking the options between the two products, Sunshine and Snake. And they uh, chose Sunshine out of all of them, which is interesting because Cozy Black just won on Sunshine yesterday. But they had the experience, but Freya Tech also might have been able to watch the VOD and see things they can counter, all that kind of stuff. So definitely, uh, I don't know. I, I've learned by this point to just let Danny cook with the math picks. You know, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, we've seen uh, some like really confident map picks from the side of Freya where they'll like do like 
statistically, rather unorthodox things. Well, it's like you you look can look at statistics. Like one season, I counted like every single round a team got in a scrim throughout a three month time span, and I was like, oh okay. So Freya Tech historically does really bad on product versus this team, and then I watched them pick product in the match, and I was like, what? This is <laughs> this doesn't make any sense at all. And it's because they I guess they like they. You know, they, they oh, so he said the same up, thing yesterday, it right? Was a, it was a completely different game. They said, so, you like, know. you know, of like, oh, we do bad against them in scrims on this map, but we know our mistakes, we know how to fix them, so that's yeah. why we're confident picking them. So it's like that, trust because the they were surprised at the Sunshine pick from uh, GC themselves, and they're just like, well, you know, even though we're losing scrims on the map, as long as you can fix your issues, it doesn't really matter. Speaking of fi fixing issues, does this does this server look okay to you guys? They, uh, no. <laughs> it, no, it does not. It looks like it needs to be restarted yesterday. So hopefully. Oh, it's the it's a con it's config related. I think okay. Habib hit every pipe. Okay, if there's any uh, is any worries about Habib being maybe washed or a little rusty? Habib is destroying people. <laughs> and that's <laughs> honestly that's a perfect enough. segue to the rosters because uh, if you weren't watching yesterday or haven't kept up in the news. Uh, you'll want to know, you know, who's fielding their team uh, fully for the weekend and who needs to bring in subs and ringers. And for right now, both these teams are not able to field their full six. You saw yesterday, Cozy Black, they didn't have Psy. They said that they, he will return later on for their match they're going to have later on in today. Um, assuming that, uh, like, if they need to play a match, the winner here actually doesn't play a match until tomorrow because um, they move on to Grand. But uh, if Cozy does need to play, then Psy will be there. But uh, their roster is Catface and Speedy on Scout, Trip and Kev on Soldier, Dingo on Demo, and May on Medic. For Freyatic, we have KJ Quad, aka Ed, on Scout, Gungan on Scout, Saxophone and Bainey on Soldier, Habib on Demo Man, and Pabada on Medic, with the change being that Habib um, is subbing in for Logan currently. Yeah, Logan's at work. I don't know when he gets home. Uh, but if Freyatic wins this, it doesn't matter, because he won't even need to play today. If they, lose, like if he, they win, are they going straight to Grands? So. The winner goes straight to Grands and doesn't okay. play the, for the rest of the day. They just play the Grands on Sunday. Uh, if you lose, you don't have a match immediately, but you'll have a match later tonight. Okay, so, so like the, the last one at like 10 or whatever. Yeah, the you don't have a second BO3, but you do have to play like the third BO3. Yeah. So you All get right. a little bit of a grace period. Oh, that is nice. So... We, apparently we have all of Freotech in the server. We don't have any of Cozy Black, so what I'm going to assume is that they are probably still finishing up the pregame. That's usually uh, the explanation. Kev's in the server now, so is he? Probably, uh, he just they joined. Probably <laughs> just, they probably just ended, and then like, okay, scrim, and let me go to the bathroom or whatever before we get this game started, and they're like not in the server yet. Yeah. But baby steps, like we said. Yeah, baby steps indeed. I think it's interesting the map pool. I feel like it's kind of rare for one team to uh, for product or one of the cops in general to be left in and not picked at the end you know what i mean usually like there's some sort of discrepancy or disparity between the between two teams on cop and one team wants to you know use that but i guess where tech is just feeling uh, you know sunshine more maybe they just don't want to rematch of that earlier product match because yeah, that product match was like it was, it was close, not, but it, was it was, not too wasn't bad for a, either team. It wasn't a clear thing for Freya Tech, because the sniper definitely gave them issues. Yeah, especially when it comes to your first pick, you there's only one map that is banned away that you might have ever wanted, and otherwise you get the rest of the pool. So why would you pick a map that you are gonna I would assume go like relatively even on? You'd probably pick something that I mean it's just scrims, but I think these guys scream each other like on a normal basis. I would assume so, you, so. See, I think I remember them playing on Wednesdays or something. So you like you have a something in your memory banks on like how you do on certain maps versus these guys, whichever team you're looking at. Uh so you, you kinda like use that as a reference to just to kinda know like, alright, we every time we play them on this map we beat them. Let's just go for that. So it makes sense that you would kinda like ignore product and maybe therefore as well like bagel a little bit. Um but uh it would be a little bit different if it's like the third map, because the third map is always kind of like the even-ish type of deal, unless there's a really big uh, map diff, you know, yeah. like the pool. But considering the point we're at now, we're watching, you know, upper bracket semis, there probably shouldn't be a big map it shouldn't diff be. in this stage of the game. Maybe in, in lower runs, we might see a map pool diff. Like in uh, the other matches that are being cast right now, or maybe even uh, the second one that we'll be casting later on, potentially. Yeah. But, uh, but otherwise, no, that wouldn't be a thing that we would expect. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Uh, Habib has been Hubbada in MGE, so Habib currently the, the Viaduct MGE champion, although we have a fierce battle going on in uh, 
on bad lands between Freo KJ Quad and Freo Sax. And the, f so the frames are slowly but surely getting better in this server. It, you, if you're wondering, you're why you're not, usually it's the other way around. If, if you're wondering why you're not seeing gameplay right now, we are sparing you. <laughs> That's yeah. why. Yeah, there's a nice little PowerPoint going on in the spectators because they don't have the. It, it's not because the server's messing up; they just don't have the config on. Yeah, it's just MG. So when it yeah. switches the map and they do the config, it'll, you know, uh, it won't be eye bleeding. Yeah. But well, uh, I, I think looking at the rosters, you know, obviously if you're slotting in Habib for Logan, that's like a side grade at worst, right? I mean, it, it's Habib. Because you know, Logan's, not... Logan's no slouch. You know, I think Logan is definitely you know, considered Habib tier. But yeah, you know, especially with all the experience Habib's Habib's had with Freya Attack, I, you know, I'm not worried about that in the slightest. Yeah, and it's not like Habib is like, oh, I haven't touched the game in months. Like he's been. You know, it, it might not be Even if he did, honestly, grindy, I feel like but... Habib's probably one of those players that would be fine. Some players are fine if you give them extended breaks, they come back, and it's just like running a bike. They're like, oh, I can still hit everything. It's also demo, so like half of it is setting up traps, like... Yeah, game sense being... doesn't go away. Yeah, and just spamming. Like, just don't just don't die or feed and you're fine. You know, uh, so Habib... like... <laughs> okay, yeah, well, yeah, maybe, maybe easier said than done sometimes, but... Yeah. Especially Habib you know, does like to go on adventures sometimes. We're moving on to Metalworks. We're off of MGE. So that means the config will be executed soon. You think the... I'm sure Friotech watched uh, the games yesterday. You think the copious amount of Sniper that was played uh, had any like effect into them picking Metalworks first? Because if you think um, of like, Kev teams traditionally, I would consider Metalworks like, one of the Kev team maps and that. It's just like, you know, they can play kind of like their preferred, like... like I'm not going to say slow and plotting, but like... The way they play TF2 kind of like generally favors Metalworks and those kinds of maps, and they've shown a they like to pick it in the past. But it's also a map Metalworks is not a like not that great of a sniper map. So I wonder if that factored in at all. No, I feel like if they are worried about the sniper as the priority, like that's the main thing they wanted to get rid of, then they wouldn't have picked uh, Sunshine. They would have picked like well, it's between uh, Sunshine product and Snakes. The sniper's good on all of those maps. That's true. I think Sunshine's actually probably the least front sniper friendly map out of those three, I'd say. I, I will say that if they if their priority was like not having to deal with a sniper and just trying to play as a normal TF2 as possible and like having an easy time zoning him, if that was a priority, then I feel like they pick banned it's weird to say, oh, a team pick band wrong, but that's like, you know, you get the vibe I'm saying, right? Yeah, no, like, I, it, I, I Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, their their priorities definitely lied elsewhere. I think it was less about um, dealing with Cozy in, like, a, a fearful type way of, like, prepping for, you know, what they're capable of and more just playing to their okay. strengths. I, I wouldn't like say it's a fear thing, but it's definitely just like a, you know, oh, I don't want to play against that. Well, I because think... Because it's just, it's just annoying. <laughs> you know, yeah. Like, playing against, a, like, a perma sniper is just really obnoxious. Yeah, but Banny is primarily doing the pick bans with some input from his teammates, and I feel like his mindset is only would only ever lean towards like like trying to um, factor in the enemy team if like it's shown that it's possible to lose to that enemy team. That's fair. Otherwise, you know, this is a season where you know they lost some rounds or whatever, but otherwise they did lose pretty, actual matches. It was a pretty clean season. I think you know, their closest match was against Cozy, though. Yeah, they're they're probably just focused on themselves. Like, yo, what are we good at? What have we ended up playing a lot this season, et cetera, et cetera, things like that. So right. I don't I don't think they they care that they do. Have, we think like, we're going sniper. to five rounds. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Metalworks. One, it's Metalworks, and two, I feel like, uh, the amount of sniper that will probably be played by the side of Cozy just slows down the game enough to where like I think it's like. Maybe it could get to four rounds, maybe. The only way I see it to getting five rounds is if Freyotech, like, has some sort of, like, big advantage on this map. Mids. And they they have to, like, yeah, that was, they have to, like, roll a couple mids. Like, like two or three mids, they just have to, like, clean sweep, get the last clean sweep. And then that, that'll that give enough time for, like, the slow sniper gameplay and the, the convert rounds. But we'll see. And they could also get the four and then get that fifth round in the overtime. So, who knows? But I wonder if Catface runs sniper to mid on this map. Because it's, like, there's a, the can. angles... The angle's not bad, but it's also like the longest rollout ever, so the fact that you're not going fast is kind of, I you think know. this is actually one of the few maps I haven't tried that on. Metalworks is actually, I think Metalworks, I, I know I just said that it's not that great of a sniper map. You can do it. It's not the worst thing, especially at the last. I actually think Metalworks last is one of the easier points to snipe into. Um, right. Not easier, but in terms of like, sniping in the last should be hard. 
you don't need to get a kill to be effective because it's because that has a shutter door. Just... Shutter doors make sniping like sniping into things quite easy. Um, yeah. Just because like you know people generally don't they they just you don't have the vision on them, but then they peek in and you're dead. And then even then, like getting them into that forward hold where they're holding against the wall. I've seen so many teams like a snipers on the field, so they start to forward hold, and then a soldier bombs over as the sniper hero peeks, and that's their two man, and then. The soldier just gets in clean because the gun is put in a weird spot so the gun like can't track the soldier through the air properly so he actually yeah. gets rockets off because the engineers this... like i don't know they just put I'm their thinking, guns in weird spots uh, maybe i'm just having like a brain worm or something and i'm going senile but isn't this the map we saw cat face go ng on somebody went ng on this map recently we did like see... this season yeah we saw uh cozy versus global clan on metalworks we we definitely saw cozy play metalworks before that could be where we're remembering it where, yeah, yeah, I they think like I think three just like and head yeah, Cat Face just went NG like the, the old I think that's the old Sparkle Gang shred. I've I've had that happen to me to match. Yeah, so. but that was before they did that before Sparkle Gang. That was like something that Mix Up was doing as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, also en speaking en Enigma, of Enigma would go engineer and build the Sentry Gun and Ramp Room. Completely like complete tangent, but you know, what also was a really annoying Sentry to deal with as like, I mean, I, I guess I am still like a you know, uh, I am or advanced whatever it's called these days player, but. There, there is like a process sentry on second that was actually really annoying to deal with when pushing out. Like I was actually genuinely surprised how hard it was to deal with because it's like, I don't know, the doors in process just did not favor actually spamming it. So you had to uber out and then kill the gun and then it was just like a disastrous post fight. I, I'd like to see somebody bring that back at some point. It was quite terrible. I don't remember that one. It, it, it's like on like the, you know, like the little walkway between like the second point and like IT. Mm, it, right. it was there. It was I remember really, that. Yeah, it was really annoying. Because he just, like, okay. sticky off one, and then you spin two, and you can't spam it. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. It is. It's just, like, something you don't ever deal with. <laughs> and I feel like that's definitely one of the issues playing against Cozy, is that they'll, like, the, like, Cat Face will just, like, non-consensually go, like, Engineer or Heavy or something, and everyone in the server has to deal with it. And then if Cat Face isn't doing it, Kev's going, like, a funny off-blast. So they, you just have to deal with all kinds of just, like, you know, the obstacles and beams and shenanigans, which definitely, if you're not prepared for it, and you're not, like, Really crossing your eyes and dotting your keys, it can very easily end up with Cozy making a big play and winning the lap. Yeah, it's probably honestly pretty hard to try to prep against Cozy. Like, new, new-ish new roster aside... You know they're gonna like, do stuff, but you don't know what stuff they're gonna do. Especially because it's very sporadic. It is. Beyond, like, the half the game, Cafe's playing Sniper. That's the only thing you can predict, but you don't know which half. You don't know... And even like, then, you know Kev's gonna snipe too, like... Mm. Yeah, yeah. But... Let's go ahead and talk about Preds. We have uh, 12 in the server. I don't think we're at the under 60 second mark quite yet, but we'll eventually get there. So any thoughts on what the final score will be for Metalworks? Uh, I think Fredatech's going to win. A uh, bold prediction, but I I think it's going to be close. I like I like Kev teams on Metalworks. They have historically a good track record on it. And I know Bandy was thinking something, so I could easily eat my words here, but I think it's going to be like a 3-2. Like a yeah, nice, like, slow Metalworks game with a lot of off-classing and a lot of us, like, burning time <laughs> watching people play Sniper. Yeah, I think this is going to be... This is really hard to predict in comparison to the other games we've had. Not just because it's close, but I feel like... There's so much uncovered territory still for the side of Cozy, even though we've already watched, like, a bit of them. I'll say... I... The only thing I can go off of is I kind of have to personally just trust Froyotech's map pick, considering that this is a team that they play on a normal basis. Yeah. So they at least have some sort of idea going into this and why it would be, like, the best thing out of the entire map pool, right? Yeah. So I'll say, like, a 4-1 in favor. Okay. So you think it's going to be a pretty, like, clean Freya sweep in general? I don't think it'll be clean, but uh, they'll, they'll be at the least ones on the that'll... Board. They'll be the ones that convert the rounds, but I guess... Okay. We'll... No, we don't have to wait too much longer. We did, Actually, we did have that issue yesterday where Cozy got a lot of opportunities, a lot of like can openers where they got in, you know, got a big play, but they couldn't actually convert that into rounds. And it's going to be even harder today because it's a much more difficult opponent. But we are going live between both these teams, Froyo Tech and Cozy. Bit of a long rollout, but uh, hey, <laughs> Cafe Sniper called it. So hey, this is a, this I, I'm is actually mid. interesting to see how this goes because you do have a very good angle and nobody's gonna expect this. I'm on the cafe's game. It's already over. Mace dead. He just died to spam. That's the thing about sniper to mid is if you play super aggressive right oh. off the bat, you know, it's he so got hard his to actually play. I mean, Metalworks also one, one of those mids that ends before it begins. You know, I don't know what cafe's could have done to prevent that exactly. What do you What do you think? I mean, 
if he was on scout, he could have been like he could have tried to climb the point and then just spam. Oh, it wasn't even a bomb; it was just spam. Okay. But you could technically argue. Oh, he's there. He's there. He's there. Yeah, didn't have the mobility to get out. You could argue that if he was on scout, that like the spam made, he could have gone towards him if he was like a little aggressive or whatever. But uh, no, they they that mid ended before it began. Yeah. May just like barely know. got out of the door and it was already done. Could so maybe, maybe a backdoor low or something. You gotta you gotta figure it out. For, take, take a pretty easy win for the mid fight. Got an ad for this because Hubba was alive the whole time, so they're gonna go out on bridge. Habib jumping in, trying to find the gun. It will eventually die. They're moving over towards the spawn area. Trying to edge point right now. Yeah, playing the sticky. Pop Habib up in the air. They're defending actually pretty well. They were losing some oh, people. Oh, the Buddhist, the Buddhist. Oh, the speedy heavy. If that's gonna be too much HP, Froyotech yeah. just have to leave. Overall, very good last defense. They only lost trip in that. They, they, Froyotech, they, it looked good at first, but they couldn't get the kills and they didn't really get the point edging because nobody shot the stickies off the point, so. Yeah, they tripped did a very good job denying the point. So ended up. Gungan eventually did, but yeah, he did, but it, it took well. There goes Ed. Ed is going to fall, and the is in the back end has settled into mid, but they do have a very sizable regret to work with 50% as they're going to take Valley into, which is could be a potential minefield depending on how this goes. Yeah, down a scout, so you can't really go for any flank plays. The bomb comes in. Sax doesn't he get the force? A nice pop into Speedy as well. So he's, he's still pretty much out of there. So yeah, Sax, he will eventually die. And oh, Bandy on side as well. Trip wants the frag. He might find Gets a beat. He does. Really nice play. Good rock on the Gungan too. So overall, one player advantage of the Delman taken out of the equation. Mike uh, is going to make it a little bit more difficult for Frytech to push. They're going to poke and prod. They might go if they see too many people aggressive. And that's a pretty good sign. Get the side. The cafe is no. Hey, May is way too far forward. Too far forward. And and I don't think they were prepared for Tingo that in the slightest. Juggle. Yeah, I mean, if if Cozy was playing more conservatively, I think. Hey, they're going passive, for backup. Yeah, they might speedy, get this. Though. No, they're bringing everyone back. There's they brought everyone back, out. but at what time at least? Because if that was if nobody like blocked the point or anything, Speedy would have gotten that because that point does cap fast. That was good by Froyo just testing the waters to go inside house despite being down two, just to see if they were going to be over aggressive on Cozy, and they were, so they punished them pretty well. And uh, they maintain the ad from from killing May in the Uber. Be mindful of cat face and forwards. Bandy's on the case, but yeah, yeah Bandy ban oh. spills him. He knows. Ed's looking yeah, too. The I think they, the I think they know there. that this is a this is a thing. The paranoia is there. We'll see, but they played against these guys enough to know it's totally Bandy's possible. <laughs> he's still looking. <laughs> yeah, he's right. <laughs> this I is... like how they didn't even do that yet. Like in the game, and Bandy, like he committed to that so hard. You never see players do that. Just like looking at that shutter for that long. But Bandy, he uh, he knows that he's there's gonna be something. Tinko's just dead. He got three stickied. A bit too far forward. No stickies on the point. Gungan has a much easier time blasting the stickies off. Catface goes on to the point to try to die for it, but uh, not quite enough time bought. And that was much more simple of a last push. It definitely helps that Dingo died immediately. So it was like, you don't have to use the time to actually clear the stickies off the point. But Freyotek turn up and uh, collapsed all the way from their own second straight to last and found themselves 1-0 in this game. They're going to find themselves 1-0. That's pretty good. It started off a little shaky for Friotech, but once they got that advantage, they kind of just cruised all the way to last. So, you know, a little bit of aggressive play ends up working out. First, Sax is going to go fast onto Dingo. Sax oh, is so going to get piped, but Dingo's also out of this mid. Sax is going to fall. Bandy's going to bomb as well. He's going to try to bomb out, but overall, the fast bomb did not work, and this is might be a disaster for Friotech if they don't get up pretty soon, but they're still going to keep... They're going to just slowly oh, Dingo's back one. up. He's one. He lives, though. They got some people on Cozy Week, but the fact they didn't trade out that uh, that kill with Sax was the the pretty much the nail in the coffin. They were eventually able to. Does he on the fan of war? What is he on? That's a good weapon. I, I, face, I check in cat face melee. Am I? He's on the fan of war. That's an MDM loadout right there. I mean, that's also I, I have used that before. I, I have gotten kills with the fan of war in sixes. So. If you're a flank scout, you do have the op someone tripped out of your shot. <laughs> like the yeah. oh, oh, Omega no. denied. Sax is going to go for a sack into house. I think Kev's on shotgun. Uh, I mean, it's metal works. So I wouldn't be too surprised. Mid's over as well. But uh... Let's see. The, no, Ke okay, I'm, I'm tripping. Kev has uh, gun boats. Oh, okay. Catface eats a pipe. Is going to back up as a... Uh, Frantec, they're getting a lot of space. They're trying to the damage, get through though. the... Yeah, they're trying to... The, 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 they're going to get Dingo, though. Dingo commits for the spam and isn't going to be able to get it. They're just kind of walking through the doors right now. They're still not at a floppy, but they do get the demo picket. They're going to end up trading out at... Habib's still peeking through the door like a madman, but Speedy's going to fall, and Frantec just winning these fights slowly. They're going to get healed up, get healthy, but they're down a demo, which is going to make this quite hard. Yeah, at the end of the day, they do have a one-pick advantage to try to work off of, but they got to get this going because uh, long-term, the 
Rico's gonna come back. Sax is bombing again. bullying them so hard though. Like, Frayo Tech is losing so much HP and they're losing some players. But they're back. still in this. They just push all the way on top of the point. Surely we'll see an Uber exchange come out by the side of Cozy. Some lobby. flashes all around. No drop players quite yet. They're trying to save everyone they can. May has found himself kind of alone as there is a scout that got behind for the collapse. Oh, that coming up so box. weak. Cafe is able to get the kill. Separated from the Uber to go around behind. It's just collapse out of them as Freya Tech. They have overstayed their welcome. They, I mean, they had the player advantage, they created it all by themselves, but they're still in the enemy team territory. So when the respawners come in, the yeah, ones came, come in was first. was definitely ready for that fight. Mm -hmm. it, it was, it, that was so weird, because for Antec, they were getting through the door. Like, they had trouble getting through the doors, but they're still getting picks despite that. Speedy's gonna fall, for Antec just barely spawning. They're not gonna be able to get out of spawn. Trip getting a nice kill on the head in spawn, and that's gonna be a 1-1 one, one all tied up early on. So both teams here showing that they are competent and battle works. They both, you know, both got some plays, and Frante can't disrespect Cozy like that and just keep pushing despite the disadvantages that are growing. Yeah, the only thing they really could have done is either one, you could, I guess, technically give up as soon as you see the other team's respawn and realize you're not yeah, winning you hard enough. Just but like, oh, but two, they, they probably need to get that force way earlier. Yeah. And they just let they just let Cafes climb up the ramp, and it was a pretty pretty good uber from the side of the red team. And they got behind two and lived. But uh, another mid, we're one to one right now. Immediately a bomb in. Trip is able to take out Habib, so no Delmet in the equation. And Hubba as well. Kev, the other soldier from the side, because he takes out the heels as May getting chased. Dungan's no in on May. Except Dungan and oh, is the able to get the kill. The melee comes out, cleaned up. Vanny trying to run away. The pack is going to be there. Trying to maybe trade for one of the scouts. Doesn't think he can get out, but That's will not sweep. succeed at trading there. So yeah, a clean sweep. Only lost your soldiers. Did a pretty good job taking the Dem 1 medic are right out of the equation extremely early and they have their uber ready for last they do have their uber ready for last and i mean i don't i didn't see what exactly happened to Habib, but that does happen on metalworks sometimes sometimes just your bombed. demo sometimes your demo shows up the metalworks mid and then they just die and you don't have a mid and it's happened twice already once the dingo once the habib so both demos not having a fun time on metalworks mid i think you've said in the past it's definitely one of the toughest mids to play on demo it's a. Uh... It's because it's such a priority, I feel like. We have to keep a demo in check, but they're going in with a Zuber. There is a Pyro on the field. Gun Man, he's hiding guys. in the corner. Gungan might be able to work his way to spawn. He's fine for now. They do have the heavy on the field. Both soldiers are like kind of behind in a weird spot. Speedy's hurt. He's going to fall. And he's actually going to die to Bane. He's a Pudus in this last push. Not going the way they want. They're going to back up. But Dingo's actually still committing, seeing so if he can get a pick. They're actually recommitting. They're going to get the force. May's going to oh, back up, but May has nobody with them. Oh, yeah, May. I didn't even realize that. He had May, no they're just going for the point. No one's the last. There. Oh, oh with the, the, the direct! Oh, the They're gonna get it! Okay, that Uber, that Uber from Froyo, they dropped at least one player. They might have dropped a second. I didn't quite see because there was so much happening. It was a bit weird that May was alone, but Froyo Tech should have had... They had a better Uber and they had more players. They kind of screwed that up a little so bit at the end there. Like, mm -hmm. a couple people went to chase May, which meant that the players who weren't getting chased just kind of... Or weren't chasing just died. And then and left their heavy, and about, he like, didn't get a flash, so he just got mulched and died. Yeah. So 2-1 in Cozy's favor. We'll see another mid, we'll see if a Doman explodes or not. That's been the trend so far. Here, maybe explosive class as well. We get the free week saying, could be said for Bandy, but it's cat face will be the first one. Bingo's gonna get, yep, yeah, this bit's over. Get that kill. Yeah, th this, this is done. And May's yeah, dead. Bandy's on May, and May is most certainly dead. A bit of a elongated spawn as well. So Sax will clean up that frag. And uh, just trip, she was only at the foot now. Can Trip make a play? Oh, okay, no, not quite. Good surf. That final rocket almost connected, but yeah, not very good there. surf from Hubdo though. And uh, so these mids have been very, very one-sided for both teams, but in general back they've just forth, been one. Though. Yeah, it's back and forth, but we've only seen one mid where like both teams got out relatively okay, and that was the mid where Fry, like Habib just insta died. Or no, that wasn't the one Habib insta died. That's when Fred just left. Catface spy. He was on sniper at first and then changed his mind. He's got to do this quick before they just Uber. Otherwise, he's just gonna stab. They're about a soldier, to go. I think kinda... he's uh. Yeah, yeah oh, you know, he got spotted. Yeah. He might he, be able to get out the last, but he's not going to be here. Or he may, he might backstab He's, just, it he's just invisible. He's going to backstab it, Danny. That would be so silly. No, he just he gets Danny. the pistol kill. So that's something at least. They get the sticky kill on the gun as well, but he gets, it, he, gets oh, six. he gets it. He saves Dingo as well. Sax is about to kill Dingo. Oh my god. Honestly, the match okay. is already starting out wacky. Low key, the spy pistol is actually really good. Like, people. The revolver's Definitely. strong. People underestimate how much damage the spy pistol actually does, but you can, like, if, if you get the good spread on the spy pistol, you can do people. But Trip is gonna die for, uh, I guess he's trying to lock up the but you know, that's a Try to kill Habib, but yeah, yeah. not quite It's kind of hard to simply to just kill Habib. Yeah, especially when he's beamed. They have yeah. that, at least. They have no roamer, so it's gonna be a Trip with their Cat is running back to spawn. 
Yeah, there's gonna stalemate out. It's a small ad, and Metalworks is a long walk unless you go house, which is predictable. He's on sniper. They're down their soldiers, so they can't watch the flank. It's, yeah, it's a done I, li I like it if you watch lower, because people... I mean, it, okay, if it was any other team, you would expect it, but Fire Attack should expect some shenanigans. No, yeah, they should totally. I mean, they've already crossed, but how about a leaving? This is a good sack? angle, though. You get definitely, like, it's a hard one to see. Okay, Ed spotted them, so they know they're on Sniper now. Yeah, so they're kind of just stuck in Alley now. They have to deal with the Sniper. There, right, here comes a bomb. Yeah, May's out in the open. Surfs. The second rocket does not quite hit. This is two-man, though. Ed going through lower. May they doesn't need used. But Soldier goes in. Oh, they, oh, they make up for the pinch here. Damage. Oh, they're gonna pinch them. Yep. But their Uber is better from for the Speedy. Side of and Speedy's in lobby. This is so chaotic. And they Less lose some beam during all this. This Furtech Uber, they're getting zero kills, but they're gonna at least back up. They lose a beam though, and this dry might be a little tough. They're getting. Speedy gets Banny. Gun gets gonna fall. Oh, it's a disaster. Yeah, they had a better Uber, but less players. A 3v5 that, even though their better Uber existed, they weren't able to actually clean up on anyone, just trying to leave and eventually getting caught out. So, really good job. Not only making it sure that they had to, you know, they gave up two for the Uber, but they also got a kill of their own. I think it was a soldier bombed in and Habib died to fall damage in Alley. Yeah. So, no dome in there to chase. Those are very chaotic in these post Ubers, if you haven't noticed. They're like. Running it's all working. around, they're getting behind. Like, during the fights, they're just, you know, going every which direction. I think Protex is having a tough time adapting. Jump's gonna bomb in, might get bullied by Ed, oh, but saves. saves him! And Sax is totally dead here, in ramp room. Oh, that's just a feed. Yep, so now they have a two-player ad and normal advantage as well, so they honestly might just dry before they get if they're feeling ballsy. Pending. I mean, they're so close, they might just dot push, I guess, instead. That's still pretty good. They're still dead. They're, they barely have an engineer. Oh, oh, oh that, that's a... Oh, 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 99. That, you gotta hate to see that. If you're a cozy fan, but... He dies for it, but... I think Habib's willing to take those. The 99% wasn't even a drop. That, that, is that disrespect, pushing Habib like that and just like, expecting he doesn't crap it? They're just going I in for the force. Yeah, tried to go in. Kev got a lot of damage on Ingen and Hubba, but wasn't uh, able to get enough damage to actually get one of the kills I feel kills like of all the players to like skill, skill check like that, I don't think Habib's that player. Agreed. Sax jumps to the end, end of the bridge, but uh, <laughs> finds himself landing on a sticky and just immediately explodes. So, gonna be a one-for-one -one trade overall. Catface is on Spy with his team having disad. He's already cloaked up in lower, but uh, is unfortunately gonna find out they're pushing house. Trip finds that. Is able to escape potentially by this Uber coming out trying to chase down Jingo. He has to jump to the pack, but oh no, Banny's there, so he is going to indeed. That's gonna get die, Ed, though, so oh, and there's a backup no, going. Cat, yeah, Catface is just back. Wait, there's a double backup going. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so they're gonna they have to go back to deal with this. Catface yeah. is gonna fall, Kev's still behind, but they're this is buying a lot of time. And uh it's they're, time for the they're, Uber. they're actively building, so they're gonna they might be able to fight mid or refight mid with it. 3v5, uh, Dingo gets there in one second. Uh, it's kind of sketchy, honestly. I don't it's think sketchy, the time is quite right. It's sketchy, but they can fight once they get the point, you know what I mean? Yeah, they'll, Proyotech will get this cap, but they can get the respawners and try to go for it. It's still an ad to work with, just a leap frog scenario. Mine sacks, he's hiding. The timing? Oh, they were Ubering anyway. They find him. Maybe caught. caught. Oh, he's just jumping away. He's out of there. Sacks. Dingo's on chasing, the pack. Dingo's chasing. Might be able to get him. Speedy's on the case. They do get the one soldier, so at least there's that. But, uh, overall. Still a leapfrog scenario for Otech. About to get an Uber of their own. They're at 90. On the floor, about to probably go through underpass unless they want to reclimb. They are reclimbing. They want to go through house once again. Uh, but they have a weak flank if they push right now. Cozy do know that. Curious if they're going to actually abuse that. It looks like they might yeah, try they are. to. Yeah, they're walking forward to dead. Yeah, Ed's, Ed's getting Why pushed. is he backing up and calling Bandy's it? one HP. They're just leaving. Habib's Habib jumping bombing the other his direction. own valley. Yep, he's jumping the other direction. Trip doesn't need to die. They've stifled the push at least a little bit. There's a singular scout in alley. Catface does get cleaned up. Is Banny's on mid still? Uncontested for now. And yeah, they're gonna back up, but they bought a lot of time. They're gonna get Uber for a second, more than likely. Unless yeah. they leave one in cap. Honestly, an Uber for two, not too bad. Yeah. I don't, know if, I don't think you can block these spawns. I think it's too. Maybe you full stack everyone. Yeah, no, they full stack. They blocked them. Uh, or actually, no, the they... time didn't go down, so. Did, did it, am I just seeing one person got forwards and one person didn't? I don't know. I I, oh, someone, I did not see. Oh, it's cause, it's cause it's cat face. He probably he probably yeah he respawned and switched classes and it brought him back. So they, they did get uh, forwards, but okay. yeah. I see okay. he, sniper with the pan out. Guess who? Yeah, I wonder who. <laughs> who could possibly be playing sniper at this moment in time? But they're gonna let this. Uh, they don't want to be in those leap frog. They're gonna let it even out. As a uh, free attack, they've already had to deal with the sniper on second once. We'll have to see. Uh, also, we'll have to see if Catface, if he has more hours on off-classing, or not hours, minutes on off-classing than on actual scout, which I fully respect. Uh, he might. It just kind of depends. But, uh, they know of his existence. I'm pretty sure Sax saw him as he crossed. At least I assume so. Uh, 
uh, even though he hasn't really shot yet. Bomb comes in, May surfs it onto the floor. Sax unable to force it just a solo. Adventure. He is. He's gonna find Ed. Maybe. That, Body <laughs> Ed, shot. Ed didn't even like. I would have never even turned to expect that because you know who does this. Yeah. Look at the positioning for Froyo Tech though. They're ready to push house. Cafe sees them. They they see Cafe too. Habib's trying to walk oh, him, Kev, but Habib's finding Habita. He looped all the way around. No one was outside at mid to see that he just did a loop de loop. They do lose Cafe though. He was outside. Duncan's behind. Yep, Duncan is Those behind. Those are Habib. This it is such a rude situation. They're Ubering from the low ground. And they just gonna die because they're all in weird spots. Trip though, it's two. Habib and Gunnar were very aggressive. Get clean up on the opposing second. So the Uber is over. It's a 4v3. Froyo Tech have to win this fast. Trip is stuffing the store so well. Like, there is incentive for them to fight this, but one, they're all in the same, like, they're choosing the fastest route, sure, but it's the tiniest door, and, uh, yeah, that it was immediately stuffed. Really good job, yeah, Trip. Yeah, that was actually, like, he hit, he played that perfectly. There was a lot of rockets, and, uh, oh, and there was <laughs> <they're just laughs> not, not really good job from Trip there, I, though. I think we, I think we first him. The he, duality uh, you of know, man. He, he, he cooked a little too much. Yeah, he used, he used all his power in that one, and then he ran into juice. But Kev? What, the drop? That oh, was, was that a sink. Yeah, well, no, but that wasn't was a drop. A but that was still wow. That was crazy. He had no chance to surf that. They give up both their soldiers though, so they don't really have room to actually walk on these doors. Oh, Dingo Dingo's might dead. be dead. Dingo's dead. I don't think he caught the memo. His team was playing that passive. They do have some people around though. They have double scout. They're, they're the just gonna double scout it. There goes Ed. And he's gonna fall too unless they beat him. Already and, worth. And there's uh, Sax is behind. Sax might die too. Yep, no, Sax oh, is gonna die. So that's a massive double scout Uber. They're gonna, not gonna get Hubba, but four players during Uber. I think it goes. I mean, Hubba was dead respawning, so yeah, it's uh, Habib escaped, but that's about it. Honestly, Uber for three worth. Yeah, who Uber for three? Worth. Yeah, then the nice like double scout. I feel he like their spawns too. So I'm not gonna say for tech like, disrespecting two. him, but definitely both teams are like not. The, they're playing a, like they're not afraid of getting Uber into. Oh, Habib's dead. Oh, oh, he barely lives. Wow, I thought he was surely dead there in the shutter, but not enough damage came through quite yet. But they're trying to fight this. They don't really have tons of positioning. There's a lot of damage uh, on the Dingo. Drop down to nine. So there is some incentive for them to still poke and prod and slow things down. They know they have a small add to work with if they buy enough time. Their flight's getting kind of bullied though. Yeah, they ran out of gas. Uh, and uh, that add is, you know, if they, if they used it right then, they wouldn't be healthy. And if you try to get healthy, then it's not that big of an add anymore. So screw it back to last. Good call. Gungan already up on Engineer. Probably not expecting an instant sack, I suppose. Especially oh, not so with <laughs> Habib getting the trap there. Habib's been so, getting a uh, lot. I feel like Metalworks lobby in general. It's very easy to get trap kills there, and Habib has got so many already. But there goes Danny on the counter sack. I don't think they're doing anything too crazy because Gungan's on NG on last. Dingo. Oh, he's they're gonna, gonna get Dingo. That's Final huge. Lock. And they get the force overall. They get the kill on the edge. They're, they're actually just going to last. The there's a gun on last. I think they were not expecting. Oh no, he switched off. Okay. They're going all in. BD's trying to fight the one going that quickly turns into a 2v2. Two red health players and they get out on last. Oh, I guess uh, they, all right. they, they chased, all went back. Yeah, they, they chased uh, Catface. Catface I guess to last. That was a little but, disjointed, uh, but Kev, gonna get the kill on Sax. That's gonna Speedy buy a little bit of time as let's see what, sh what shenanigans are they gonna pull this time, and it's gonna be Speedy on Spy. Yeah. He's on regular cloak too, so this is a. Uh, he's gonna have to. He's gonna get forced to decloak. Yeah, he is, but wait. I. Yeah, let's see. He okay, he's going out. He's going out. Oh, they have no oh, idea. Oh, oh he knows. He Does he get Habib? No, Habib. he beefs. Oh, he popped him into the sky and he's dead. That was actually so unfortunate. If Habib doesn't get like just sent straight up, Habib even types that nice one in chat. Yeah, that was so. so unfortunate. That's why I feel like we see the most spies run cloak and dagger. So your timing isn't forced. I mean, the timing was honestly just unlucky. Like I, I think they. I mean, like, he's forced to decloak when Sax I, I mean, was spawning. I, I do agree. So it's like. The, th the only reason you would run like stock cloak there is you want to get in really fast and like so they're not powered, you know? Because you can, because yeah. with cloak and dagger you have to like chill and wait and then go. Yeah, but uh, he's respawned on sniper, so that's gonna be their ticket to try to break the stalemate. They got the pyro and the engineer set up for the defense. Yep, we do have the scorch shot. I forget the scorch shot's unbanned in this game mode. Fire and forget. Yep, fire and fire forget indeed is. Somebody's gonna use scorch shot already. Frantic. Chilling on last, and I think Cozy's probably pretty cozy right now, just chilling on Speedy, seeing if it's a shot. I'm sure Catface is just like, you know, like building up like a pressure cooker, wanting to off class, stuck on scout, watch it, you know, playing with his team, the horror. I think they're trying to shoot Sax. At least Catface they... has his, uh, he has his Phantom War to play with. Oh, Sax hits body shot. Yeah, Sax is kind of stu stuck in a tough position here. He's like jiggle peeking, he's gonna jump out. Oh, but... he body blocks Kev! Right as Kev Trip is in, Trip bomb. is not in. Trip is in the skybox. Does he get air shot? 
No. Right as Kev wanted to bomb Sax, body blocked him, jumping away from the sniper sideline. So really bad luck for Kev. Overall, good job defense. From uh, Speedy? Is... Oh, Speedy, Speedy hits the headshot, but not enough as a... Uh... That man does have a buff, so. Habib might yeah, die. Habib's uh, gonna die. There is a Pyro solo. Oh my god. What this is happening? This post from Froyotech's gonna be weird with Pyro stall in the yeah, field. Yeah, but, he, but the, the, the Pyro can actually off. air blast people around. That's oh, kind of nice sick. Oh, nice air shot from Sax. But look at Gungu. Trip is bombing the Pyro. Yeah, Gungu went in really deep, but Sax getting a really good shot there oh, on the May, taking him out of the equation. And oh, Kev takes down Hubbard. Oh, the yes, right Trip. In. No, we can't oh. get the kill. Oh, Speedy comes in clutch though. Trip was just the bait, got up the damage and let Speedy clean up. They're just running to last. It's just Habib up and for two more seconds. He has to hold on, Speedy. Oh, there's uh, two sticks. Issue, you don't challenge Habib they, in these. Yeah, no. They'll kill him, maybe? No. Oh, <laughs> six <laughs> HP. <laughs> the, barely alive. The invincible Call man. Bad in chat. Bad in chat. <laughs> oh. Uh, don't say that to Trip. You're going to affect his mental. Actually, maybe that's, that, that's what he that's, wants. That's good. That's, you know, that's good for Habib. <laughs> yeah, Trip is already coping in chat. Love to see it. All right, well, slight ad for the side of Cozy because May died first, but there is a pick to go off. Oh, Habib dies to a trap, though. Both demos are going to die as Nego dies as well. Sax is going to kill himself on the other. They're on last. They flanked behind. They bought a lot of time. But, uh, I've never overall. seen a battle match like this. It is going to overtime. There, the, so Trip can't fight. Trip hits one rocket. Can he hit two? And oh wait! God, no way! His no scout debut? Oh, the head. No, it's done. Wait, no, Dink? Hey, no, I think okay. He's get not going to get there in time. No, that's a reset. They can't get to two. They can't get to last. I've never seen a Motorworks match like this where they just keep sending people to last through lobby. Is it? I feel like, not to call any players out, is it because, like, Sax or other like, the flank is just dying so they can flank behind? What's my, happening? My Metalworks theory is as soon as we entered the era of Demoman being in every Uber era, people forgot about the concept of leaving your Demoman to trap the flanks. So you can't get back capped. Ah, uh, okay, so, I see. So it's just like a coin flip 2v2, you just win sometimes because you're not dying to sticky traps anymore when you go for these. Yeah. But uh, I didn't see that one, so maybe that one wasn't the case. But either way, we have a new mid underway after that reset. But uh, Dingo immediately extremely weak, can't really fight too much. He has to rotate for the pack. Same can be said for Habib, who actually dies. Trip overall, going to be a one for one trade, but definitely very beneficial. As Kev bombs in, finds Hubbada. Hubbada's gone. Okay, bomb and onto they're trying May. to salvage onto May. Ed, kind of close, not quite there. And uh, Gungan, Banny, just trying to run away, preserve themselves. Speedy yeah, on the chase. Ooh. Oh, Gungan gets get one. Can he Gungan. get two? All right. No, Banny tries to go in, is able to get the trade off, but we'll probably Banny die for this. Banny is trying to fight Dingo, but Dingo... Actually, Banny's still maybe. fighting this. Banny, not afraid of the Dingo pipes. Dingo's give us all three lock on them, which does happen. Banny's still in. I, uh... Huge disrespect here, fighting, still uh, fighting Yeah, I mean, he's, I guess he's buying time for a thief, kind of. Yeah, but, okay, uh, Habib's here. I'm actually oh. surprised Manny lived there, but it's just a demo, so makes sense. Yeah, yeah, overall, successful mid from the side of Cozy. The big thing is they got the mid cap, and May stayed alive. So, uh, I mean, Fortech gets a setup on two, so they can try to force this Uber. They're not on last quite yet. But it uh, looks like it's going to be a house Uber. It is kind of spotted, I think. And the bomb comes in. You might be able to catch Sax or maybe Ed. Sax underneath the bridge is going to die. A lot of damage on Ed and Banny, but they will indeed escape. So overall, just a leapfrog. Uber for one kill. If I'm Freya Tech here, I'm expecting players to go behind, so I hope they're prepared for it, because it's happened like the last five times. At least Sax can respawn, they don't have their Uber yet, so they're no. not like they're not losing time here. Yeah, they're not losing time. It's uh the time is gonna work out for Freya Tech for this leapfrog. But leapfrogging out of last is always I'm not gonna say sketchy, but it's scary because you can't just instantly lose. So we'll see. I see Bandy's kind of lingering around. Oh, look Bandy's trip. checking. Look at Trip, look at Trip. Catface is also behind Catface is behind too, they're already bring people back. Trip is uh Trip going for the play. He's gonna kill Sax. Yeah, he, he, gets, he gets both he gets two. players. Alright, so two for two. That's gonna delay things I've a lot. I've never seen... That's like the snake water strat, where you just hide your nose in a corner and then win. But... Oh, oh May! May I die? 96%! 6 HP! He gets oh, gonna get food! Does die? Oh, they were onto something great there almost, but Froyotech holding down the fort strong. They're not gonna get back capped yet, and they do indeed reclaim their own second. So really good job there. Keeping Hubbard alive throughout it all as well. Atface so. is trying to hide in Valley. Okay, he, yeah, he hit a Valley. They he found a corner. Yep, he's a... This is a classic spot. They're not even checking through Alley, really. Yeah, Sax is gonna jump out and... Yep, so there, there goes the back Can you guys block? Can you guys block? Sax is going back. Sax is Same going back, Ed. but yeah, they have to bring Ed back and... Cathy's is committing to this cap, actually. They have to fight this. Oh, Cathy's is gonna get... Got his man, he, and he lived? Uh... Yeah, Banny's rolling out as well. Two soldiers are fighting me on second, guys. Can you push mid? Uh, there's no way. There's scout no class. way. Cathy's legacy. Cathy's legacy. Ban the scout class. Cathy's legacy. 
Kev's on sniper got a kill on the gun gun as well. So Speedy's I mean, gonna get played by Habib and gonna back up. I don't even see what happened at mid, but I don't care. Uh, that was actually crazy. Yeah. So uh, he, Kev got a two K on sniper, I think. So that that's I guess self-explanatory. Yeah. So ninety percent at here is uh, how about it did die earlier. So good opportunity to try to push. They got the gun going up. Pyro once again. Kev stuck on sniper for this. I don't know about sniper on the metalworks last. Uh, but we'll see if it's effective. This is the Uber now. Trying to oh, get the, the pyro, pyro actually did a good job stopping there. Habib dead onto a forward trap that didn't really get a whole like Ooh, nice point for Habib. Early point time because Habib went all in for this trap. He's gonna die for it probably. May gonna give up his life. And the Buddhist, time, do they but... have to focus fire for the Buddhist? That is 200 and all. He can't block the point. That's gonna be another round for Cozy. And Cozy is coming out with just the constant aggression and fighting. And I feel like Freyatech's really having a tough time adapting. I will say, Habib went all in for a really aggressive sticky trap that didn't get any damage or kills, and that debt just made it so much easier for Cozy to start clearing the cap, and they didn't have to burn off any time of their Uber to actually like shoot the sticky trap and get well, on it. At least. The Pyro did well, but I think I think him going for the trap is fine, but the fact that it didn't net ed anything, that's your high risk there when it comes to high risk, high reward, and it, gotcha. did, it did not pay Ooh, off. The cafe, got sauced by Bandy. Oh my god, that it was over. All right, that, that was a little gross, and they're just gonna leave. Kev's gonna fall. And, eh. Don't blame him. Yeah, that metal works good. <laughs> it happened. Yeah. So now you're down two. You can't really hold this. I mean, even though they're leaving one to cap, it's still a player to sad. Yes, yeah, go back to last. Get the gun built up. Maybe someone can respawn spy. Especially you're up two rounds. There's three minutes in overtime. You're kind of you know, cozy is as some would say quite cozy. Yeah, got the heavy as well. I, I think it's interesting. Speedy always class. plays stock on heavy. I, I respect it. Uh, I don't I mean, know if it's actually better. I think Pomislav in general. I mean, I'm actually on Metalworks, I can see it because you're kind of close. Yeah, if you're close, you don't mind it. I mean, it's mostly going to be people running at you, right? People yeah, it depends on the last. Like, on Process Last or other ones, you want Pomislav because you're farther away. But this there's an Uber change so happening. Much better. Yeah, they, Kev is they behind. Tried to, they tried to get this force, but uh, they got no kills with the Uber. And they Kev had lived. Such, they had a better Uber by like 90% maybe or so. Did I see it's, that it's, right? And they got no kills with the Uber. Kev was in the middle of their team and just did a loop de loop through lobby and lived. Like, I don't understand how these players are just like doing laps around Froyo behind their team. It's just a focus fire. Like, who are you, who are you shooting? I don't, I'm sure someone's saying something, but they're not on the same page. But Kev caught into a corner. He is on the banner. I have to look at the stream to see his percentage because I don't have the plug-in. It's at 50. Neither do I. No, I just looked at the stream. He's at like 50, so he's halfway there. If he gets right. this, this is going to be even harder to push. Yeah. Freytek do have a fair amount of time to work with. They have a little under three minutes to try to push last. We'll have to see what their objective is, how they want to approach this. But right now, they're just waiting for Uber. Got to build it up. I'm yes. calling a reset right now. I'm saying a reset. <laughs> Already? Mm-hmm. Well, they I, have to. I, I they have trust to, in Frantec to at least attempt something. You know, they, they, have they to could drop get something. May, I think they have to drop. May. That's what I'm saying. I don't like, think... They they could. I do like they have the the engineer and the and the Buddhist. You know what I mean? They like they've got to get two scouts for having like. T I guess that's technically three hit scan. You have the engineer, the sentry, and the heavy hit scan. A sniper will be really strong here, but you don't have time for that. Is the thing. Yeah. Like. These two classes don't cover doors, so the heavy is food. But Here comes a heap sacking too, actually. May is just gonna May? spawn. Okay, he's good. Nowhere to be seen. So They're gonna get Catface and Dingo. Man. So that is a... Uh, Catface's sentry is still up, so they don't have to worry, really worry about a back cap that much, because the sentry will just shoot people. I'm kind of surprised Frotech was... wouldn't just, like... I mean... I guess it'd be a different story if they got the force, like, four men for the force, and then we'll push with our add-on too, and it'll be they great. Have their they didn't get it. They have their banner, yes indeed, and both teams have their Uber. The bridge is getting super stuff right now. They are now. getting they, nuked, they oh my god. Four There's a high bomb inside coming. the bridge. High bomb comes in, they're Uber exchanging, they see that Maze bit passive. The banner will go out. They're, okay, oh this my is god, using a disaster it to milk. for Freya. They're just using it to milk. This Uber's not gonna get the force. They just got a singular soldier, and that's not good. That's leapfrog scenario here. The sticky damage is coming out. Hey, here comes the Uber. Uber. Finally comes in through the hallway. Dingo's a bit weak, but it doesn't matter. They're able to get Habib. They're still on the chase. A lot of damage onto Banny. Might be able to catch Ed. Saxon, wait, Gungan and Saxon are behind. They kill Speedy. Oh, Freya takes it's their turn to be behind. Yeah, they they're not really that healthy, though. They can't. Oh, oh my god. Nice Ed is sauce by Catface. Catface, gonna lose the scout be scout as a. Now, Freya, the Cozy have their own little, uh, you know, back of people behind to work with. Sax could be like 2 HP in Valley, gonna get a pack and heal up, but I'm glad that Freya Tech is at least trying something and, uh, like, do, you know, giving Cozy a taste of their own medicine here. As we've now reached infinite overtime, so Cozy only needs one more round to take map one. Freya Tech, gotta hit a point. Yep. Might be uh, the exact opposite of my pred prediction here if Cozy is able to claw their way back, but Freya Tech in the driver's seat right now. They do have. This ad is really negligible. Mind the sniper, though, he's not in position yet. 
Probably not where you expect him. He's not looking underpass. Uh, but he does exist, and if you're not too careful, that could be the end of your push. But they're working their way through Alley. Gungan, <laughs> he's taking a lot of damage, but uh, they're still holding strong. The Uber's Ooh. available. They were going to use it. May will eventually use. Yep. Speeding going to drop, but they though. gave up two for it. This Uber's better for the side of Cozy, but they're down a lot of people. They also have a sniper, so they can't really chase that far. Oh my Gungan god, Sax got up. denied. Sax is in, still just above them. He might just kill May from spam. Someone uh, needs to trip? kill the soldier, but they lose their demo. Trip Gungan running in. Sax will eventually die. Trip's gonna die for it. Nice headshot onto Hubbita. But it's just legacy again. left alive. Body shot. Are you going to get the kill? Not uh, quite. Habib's played enough Highlander. He knows how to dodge the snipers. Pyrrhic victory for Cozy. I don't think they can push this yet. They need to get their players. Hey, do they you can... are... Yeah, if May starts healing people, that'll be huge. They have respawn disadvantage if they push. They have to wait. Hubbita has a really long spawn. They are going to have Ed. Yeah, they have. They just can only push off the Ed. Nothing else. Yeah. So, so Freya gets to set up at least... Uh, curious how they're gonna work the sniper into their game plan because as soon as the sniper is spotted I wouldn't put it like they know the sniper lived I would not put it past for I tech to go for some sort of flank play abusing the weak flank. Yeah um, So one like of my uh, weird wheelhouse one of my personal opinions is that I feel like pushing metalwork second to mid is very hard for lower level teams But do you think it's hard for invite teams as well or is that just a oh, they're just going in? Okay. Yeah, they're just going in Vanny is behind Sax is going in. They're just, oh, he's immediately uh, finding the combo yeah. But, uh, might he, wow, he actually he escapes. That's actually a crazy escape. His Dingo's getting case? nuked. Oh, Habib is just, it's Habib. The red positioning for this post Uber, that that needs more time in the oven. That was not <laughs> good. Look look at Catface's sniper rifle on mid. Yeah. Why, he's standing there of all places. They were way too deep for their own good. And uh, it definitely shows with the results. Is Hubbita alive? 100%. Half of Cozy's pretty much dead. They have to go back to last. Go ahead and reset up. Start building that gun. Catface. And they double engineered on accident. Okay, Catface will be the engineer. <laughs> uh, and it's they're spawning on crits for Cozy. So, bit of a weird choice, but we'll see if it actually comes to fruition as the Uber comes in. Gotta find a target. They're not clearing the point. Shooting they the want to kill this heavy. The heavy's not being, so he'll die pretty quickly. But they lose a beam. No sticky's available for the side of the blue team. So Dingo's still alive. He's just trapping the point, but Dingo's gotta be careful. He's gonna have to Banny, use the stickies onto Banny. He's gonna get Banny, but that means there's no stickies on the point. Dingo's, Dingo's dead. gonna die as well. Frisax Sax is in. Trip is gonna hit a shot onto Gungan. Ed is still alive, but he's he dies to the gun. Sax dies to the level one, just turns slowly and shoots him with one bullet and cleans him up. That's hilarious. But not only did they survive, I don't. I wonder if they noticed that May was on crits when they were in the middle of that push. Because, you know, lock happens. Sometimes you miss the beam. Oh, they, get, they know now. They know for sure now. They get the beam. Oh, barely miss Banny. But now they're kind of stuck on it. That's the thing. That's the thing about crits and why you don't really right. see it. Honestly, you could, they could just try to dry them, baby. Because it's crits, so they're going to get crits roughly the same time that Gun for, Gungan... Not Gun. Uh, Habita's going to get his Uber, so... It's going to be close. I... What do you do if you're here for Freya Tech and you're playing against this crit? Do you literally just chill, wait to get your Uber, then just the second you see red players, you usually run at them? Uh, I feel like you you get your Uber and then you maybe you go underpass to try to milk it for like an extra second. Because uh, I'd be worried if I go Valley about like a crit sticky just, you know, annihilating right. people. Right, you can't play slow here because a crit sticky is here. Trip is dying. Oh, the reaction time is there. They Uber. They're trying to escape. They're taking a lot of damage. Maze really weak. Oh, they might get cut off in the shutter. This is not the correct exit. They're gonna lose two. They barely escape with their team, but half of them are dead. They're just gonna leave one to keep walking. I really yep. feel like they maybe could have gone the other exit, but either way, this is not uh, good for the side of Cozy. They're in dire straits now. It's Froyotech. They pretty much have this locked down. They don't. They're base at the point, but they can't cap it quite they yet. Cap yet. But I mean, they, they, they might have gone a little too fast. Is they're gonna be on the point, but Cozy. They are three down, but they're not getting any kills currently yet. May is gonna be very hurt, but not gonna be able to get it. Is this? There's no way they beat this, right? There's no way they beat this. There's this no is way. Kev's Kev, out Kev in the field. Has the, yeah. yeah, there's yeah, no okay, way. Yeah, they get it. I was I, gonna say, I feel like Cozy played slightly too aggressive at the beginning of that last hold, considering that it was the cap was still up, but I suppose they were afraid of getting spawn camped, so they didn't want to, like, go back yeah. into their spawn. But, uh... It was good that Froyo, at least, even though they couldn't cap, they did successfully get a scout kill, and that helped a lot. But, uh, it's just... You, you don't... I... I feel like a lot of people's philosophy... A philosophy maybe it's just mine and i'm like parroting but like i feel like you don't go crits unless you're on the other team's half of the map you don't want to be stuck on it and that's why yeah I mean, they needed that first crits to pop off but it's like you know with all the sight lines and the fact that you can't like see them that well they got the initial deep kill and they couldn't do anything off of that yeah but another mid fight underway abib is getting yeah, abib is in the set so. right now oh my god sax is gonna be pushed in bed Ed is her, sent up into the, her. sent to the moon somehow and came back and lived to tell nice the tale. Nice pipe onto Speedy though, that's gonna be a pick as 
they're gonna back up, but at least they, you know, they get their trade kill. They can get mid and uh, you know, equalize things a bit. Although Bandy's oh, in Bandy lobby. Just... Oh, and he's a not a it's a distraction. Spot here. They're just in. They're in through backdoor. They don't have Uber yet, though. Be careful. It's a 10% add. May could use, and they could just kill Hubbard if they're not too careful. But he oh, Hubbard is going to get in time. Uber in time. Yep, they do have better Uber. Let's oh, see this post. This Kathy's block. is blocking the them in the block. door. That's so smart. And then running away, he's living. Oh my god, he went out through drop down. They're chasing him, and they can't find him. <laughs> Catface is a terror right now. He will eventually die, but he got so much time. So now it's a 5v5. Red team has positioning on mid. Trap sacks just eats it. Dive. Good job by the side of Dingo. Tracking the pack. Gungan in. Gets the kill on the cap. Will eventually die. Oh, almost killed Close on May. That was almost one more shot and May could have died. But could have, should have, would have. As Fred's going to lose three for Cozy's two. And that means they're going to try to push into second here before Habib and Habib. Uh, Ed, Gungan, and Sacks are going to be able to arrive. Habib well, still wants to fight this. He knows that uh, he, he has an opportunity. And, Players are behind. Their baby's gonna go in, see if he can get anything. Cannot get anything. That's gonna signal retreat in the last. That was the attempt. And, uh, yep. Yeah. They went for the risk, did not get it, so now they're stuck on their own last. And reminder that if Cozy win this round, they win this map and they go on to map two. And this is yeah. Freya's map pick. Yeah, last time we were in this scenario, though, it was, uh, are you guys gonna cap this? What's going on? Hello? <laughs> Thinking about it. Maybe they're they delaying wanna, it. I don't know. Anyone gonna cap? No, they just, like, no. Uh, just... Speedy's looking at it like, uh,. Yeah. You know? Oh, they're extending the route timer. That's smart. Oh, okay. That's actually like like Giga Five had. Yeah, they're, they're extending the route timer so they have like more than four minutes to push back. They'll they'll cap it as soon as the sack goes through. So there's the sack. They want to be able to get cap face and kev forwards. Okay. That's a big brain play. I respect. Honestly, it. that's the first time that I've seen that. In a, in yeah, one no, of the games I I've I thought about it. Like, ooh, teams could do that. I've never actually seen a, a team like. Oh, yeah, successfully do that. Okay, they don't mean to hit anyone. Yeah, I've seen people extend to get into infant overtime, but I haven't seen someone try to extend their time. Just some more time in the last Dingo's one. It makes alone. sense. Dingo's a little bit. He's going to have a nice surf, and Bandy's just walking May. forward to May. Does Bandy hit it? Bandy does not have the chance to hit it. As uh, May going to chill, going to you know, regain his health, as they're going to lose three. Yeah, so overall, Did Trip just three flank there. through lobby? Uh, I didn't quite see. It looks, I see, maybe that's his at the end of bridge, but either way, there's so much room here. Uber change comes out. No they have to go, oh, Ed, Ed has the base cannon. <laughs> they have to be this careful. is not good for Red. This it's is not really good for Red. Ed, Ed better pop off here with the, with the crits. He's waiting. He, <laughs> he dies. Oh, he got two sticky. Dingo is at 40 HP and he just two stickies in, but this is still not that good for Red, even though they lose their base cannon on blue. Uh, so yeah, they're just trip left alive. Trip is going. Oh, he spotted. spotted yeah. it, it's over for him. Trip shooting himself. On the <laughs> oh, trip. They had a player advantage on Cozy. They played it fast, and because they played it fast, despite their player advantage, they screwed up their health hard, like real hard. Like I get you want to play it fast because you want to not let the other team get their respawners in time, but the execution of actually doing it just screwed up their post uber entirely. Did somebody nuke them in a door like Habib or someone like that? Something like that, yeah. There's only yeah. three and it was still enough damage, but Catface is on Spy. Okay. Slight, slight add for Cozy because they used first. Honestly, you're really negligible, so you can kind of ignore it. So this yeah. should be a stalemate. Which means Catface can call the add if they want to do something it's really psychopathic. Well, it's, a, it's a pretty good Spy timing because there's yeah. no paranoia on like, why aren't they sacking? Because it's building uber time. Yeah. So it buys Catface time to actually crouch walk his way behind. And uh, deep I love the, the right spy moment. crab walk. Always a good time. Yeah, you gotta extend your ability to get behind as much as possible. Is the crab so. walk actually like efficient cloak wise? I don't think yes. it is. Yeah, it, it, it is okay. Yeah, for cloak and dagger, yeah. Cafe is going for it. They have no idea. The timing. He, he misses the first time. Can he get? The... Oh, they're the going at the same time though. They got him. There you go. They lose three for it. Oh, and Sax was behind. Sax He's gonna, is gonna slow die, them though. down. That's gonna be the trade. Okay, so. Not bad for the side of Cozy. I think the sack skill is the the thing that seals the deal. They oh, May? look like they There's are gonna a wall there. Up. There's a wall there. Oh, there's Ingo might die too. Okay, okay they're, they're fine for now. They're gonna get healthy, gonna back up. They're gonna be able to fight into mid. They're gonna drop down. They're gonna try to go fast, which I do respect. They're gonna go and see if they can. Uh, they're gonna get two of their forwards it, denied, which oh, means that they're gonna have the long rollouts. But oh, May, oh, they they get denied. They're there. Wait, May's yeah, not gonna use. Oh my God, May has. I <laughs> hold an iron right foot. And because they actually did get their forwards, oh, there we go. Uh, maybe a little bit too strong of an iron grip there, but because that, that is a blind, a blind. Is that a blind that's a bit? that's a blind dent and a half. That's oh just a, imagining where they'd be walking and denting at the right moment type of deal. As cozy chaos ensues, got two in alley, bunch at mid. Kev's gonna get immediately denied because there's an entire team on the side of alley. Speedy's gonna get cleaned up as well, finding a whole team. I am watching a uh, cozy trip. What is Trip? Yeah. Go Tri oh, Trip's gonna back out. up, okay. They're already down two, this is over. So now Freytech, they get mid, they can't deny, I don't think. Speedy will get his respawn, I think. 
Uh, but they do have an ad to work with uh, as soon as they build it up. He, yeah, Speedy gets a spawn. He's on Sniper as well in the fort. He's not getting out of the fort, so he's just watching the uh, house sightline, I'm pretty sure. Which, it does look like that is going to be the route they're going to take. They're probably just going to immediately pop through it, though. Especially with the way they're approaching through it. So we'll see how many kills they're able to get here. Or maybe he gets a scout on the way in. Nope, no sniper there. But they are Ubering in, trying to find a kill, but everyone's just gone. They saw that way early and will not actually net any kills. But Speedy's still there. Might peek the shutter and get someone. They're not looking Habib's at getting kind of nuked a little bit. There's no paranoia. Does he get the shot? Habib is walking for with 80 HP. Habib is an absolute psychopath. Uh, speed, uh, speed does not able, is, isn't able to get anything. Atheist is going to die. Yeah, he got through the shutter really early, and Banish is there, so cleans him up with the help of Ed. So overall, I mean, Cozy have this ad. They're down a person, though, so it's kind of hard to watch your flanks. I think that death there kind of spells the end of things, at least for yeah, now. They they're going to chill. Yeah. Yeah, it was I big feel enough, like Cozy. You could wait you know, for Catface and go. You could. Like but, uh, this is a huge advantage, but I feel like it's kind of starting to slip away from Cozy a bit. Friday Tech's finally kind of finding their footing. I guess they just want, uh, they, they find their strength here. They don't want to bother. And they're probably. I, I wonder if. Do they consider themselves confident at mid? I guess uh, both. T I, I think, mean, they got up 4 of 1. You have to be good at. Yeah. You know, they've had. Mids have gone either way, and they have, like, the luxury of play. Like, they'd have to lose two mids in a row bad. Right? Yeah. But if Freya win this round, they're, they tie up the game. So. Oh, that's, that's true. You're right. I, so you probably, I can't. You I can't know, count. You don't want to do anything too crazy here. So, got the heavy, got the engineer. Sax is gonna die. Honestly, sniper could be pretty good here. The heavy would be food. The engineer is going to really watch all the doors. Trip is going for a counter. He's gonna find a whole team, get some damage on a gunman, but no frag. Got good damage, but. Kev Banner again. He hasn't built any of it up yet, so that's gonna be a, a, a you know, a long term thing here. But, uh, yeah, no off classes for Froyo Tech. Sax just respawning normal, not holding the door. Two oh, man. They're just head. <laughs> and they didn't even get through the door. So, fighting Kev. Thing you're gonna find the trap means that Sacks gonna back up, and these sacks are going nowhere. They're not even yep. getting really through the doors on these sacks. Yeah, not really. I mean, this this roll hole can be kind of hard to deal with. Yeah. Because uh, the gun does a lot. As long as it's in a good spot where it doesn't have to struggle tracking soldiers through the air, then you know it, it's a it's a kind of a done deal there. But uh, still no off classes for Freya. Just want to do their two man, so maybe pressure cook with some spam, which is very on brand for them. So it's unsurprising. Try to peek. Here comes there. They're gonna get. Danny's gonna get it. Oh, four man. That's also on brand. May. Oh my god, you took. Okay, oh, you almost took no damage from that, despite having so many players. Is <laughs> he the dispenser? I think I saw some dispenser. Yeah, armor, look but... at look at the health of dis the dispenser. It's almost <laughs> dead. The dispenser tanked <laughs> all of that actually. Captured. Great mechanic. Love to see it. Yeah. So a uh, really good job there. And uh, they maintain their Uber, and that once again, the four man for the second time does not net anything. And Bay Cassius is, he's staying on engineer because he has crits. Bay is 152 right points. He's by building the way. a gun inside house because he's still an engineer because he wants his crits. A bomb I mean, the in crits, honestly, I actually get that. Oh, Banny might die. Banny's gonna die. Banny. Oh, he gets him up and up! Oh my god! Add that to the folder. Got a little of a scout 1v1, but Ed, Ed's gonna find the sentry. <laughs> the sentry kills him, the sentry. Happy is on a 5k <laughs> from the grave. We've had two level 1 kills. The level 1 has gotten two kills at different points in this game. Oh no, okay. Well, oh, mine the sticks on the point. Okay, they did dead. So, May, not forced. A Cut up drop. Ooh, be Catface respawns on engineer. Uh, okay. In, I think his the May. sentry's up, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the sentry got a kill while he was dead. He probably just yeah. saw him through Oh, that's no, true. He's going to he, get crits he's again. Off. No, no. He's, he's off it now. Oh, the super okay, does okay. get forced. Froyotech are able to successfully get that out of the equation. Sax is behind and killed Kev, so he's going to be a thorn on their side. Trip trying to hold on the fort. He is, but he's about to run will. into Speedy. Yeah, he'll die there. So it'll just be a roamer trade on either side of the map. But Froyotech, they reclaim their territory. And now Cozy, I mean, there's... They can't really fight anymore. Like they can try, but respawn disadvantage into enemy territory. That it's, it's so not unfortunate for Cozy. They got the drop, and they end up after after getting a drop and all of that, they end up with like slight uber It's basically it's the, even. because the force but, happened so. Yeah, it's late. the force, but the force. You know, they didn't get anything with the actual force itself, other than yeah. you know just expending the uber. So two unfortunate snipers. for Cozy. Oh, they're Is calling that, it even. Uh, okay, I was a banny <laughs> sniper. I think said two snipers for bolt for you know one team, and I was like, that's not allowed. No. Otherwise, process be... would be unpushable. You only see Banny Sniper when he's pubbing, realistically. Banny, like, oh, okay, low-key, I have a hot opinion about Banny Sniper. Banny always gets his first shot. As I say that, he missed his first shot, but he, like historically, he, Banny is very good at hitting his first he's shot. Missed, he's missed two. Yeah, I actually, see, I, I played on a team with Banny, and I was on Sniper, so I taught Banny everything he knows. Ah, oh, I see. 
There you go. See? Third time's charm. <laughs> it's, it's real. So that's an opening. No sniper to deal with for the side of Froyo Tech. It's a nice body shot onto Speedy. Gets a bit weak. Maze takes some damage as well from spam. So the force might be a bit easier from the side of Sax, but he's actually going to just do a little bit of a fake. All barrels fire oh right now. They're going to Uber change the Uber. They're just going to get Manny, but this Uber is worse. This Uber is worse, this Uber is worse but Cathy's is going behind. And they're, if they don't get May here, they are going to get May, but this post Uber could be good for Red if they, they, uh, they play their cards right. Hard. Habib's just out on the bridge kind of alone. He might be a death here. Yeah, he's going to be oh, oh, he gets one. Okay, okay Habib. Trip. But Speedy's going to clean him probably. Yeah, Speedy's going to clean him up. But, or Pev's, I guess, technically Kev, but Speedy, you know, put his face for a text. Gonna have to back up, but they do have, you know, slight, their medic is alive, they are building, they might have slight new to work with, and heals to work with. Cozy is gonna get this point, but they have to be careful they don't lead to the, just the blue players walking in. I mean, honestly, good heads up play from Cozy, like, recognizing that you'll have a worse Uber and that May will die, but if they do indeed chase May, then that post for blue is way too deep, and that definitely showed. They do have an ad to work with, at least. Kev just walked past Manny. And oh, hang on, there's so much damage done. Sack's a bit weak. Oh, Trip's gonna die in house as well. They get both soldiers and didn't have to lose anyone for it. So now they yeah. don't even have to use Uber to retake mid for their own. It looks so that. smart because Kev actually just jumped past Banny and Banny had no idea. But then, like, I think they heard the, the rocket or they just happened to turn and Kev got levitated. So it was a nice theory, but the execution was out of work. Kev sniper. They blocked the Trip spawn, so they can't really actually do the serious force. Oh, he's in all the paranoia. Too. Yeah, he's trapping it. Habib is like. I think he's looking at the stickies. <laughs> yeah, the Uber comes through. They oh, want to cut him off. Dead. They saw him aggressive enough. May does get his Uber in time, though. This is a much better Uber for the side of the red team, but they can get the kills. Overall, one for one trade. Hubba, really weak on the floor in the corner. Will indeed die. May is escaping for now inside the ramp room. Dingo holding down the fort. They're just wiping for the most part. Banny is behind, battling Kev, and Habib has escaped. But uh, this 1v1 will quickly turn into a 2v1 as Speedy is running back to last to try to save Kev. Kev Bandy will not get, be lucky, did get his but, uh, 40 HP on last, but Speedy and there. almost lost on Speedy, but not, not enough as... Dingo's gonna get Habib too? How did that happen? Uh, I didn't see it. I, I see last. the... I see in... Okay, Habib got caught out in lobby. I, I, see uh, the, I see I see the grenade launcher on the floor. It's a very late demo death. That's two people with their spawns denied, and now you just dry into two. 64. They're, are they gonna really shove four people down the bridge? Like, you don't need to go that fast. The guys aren't there. Uh, Trip is able to bomb them. They almost got sacks with that too. That's actually kind of okay, crazy. That, that works. So, Trip is in really early. Oh, oh they did get sacks. Too okay. soon. They did get him. Okay. Yeah, okay. I feel but like sacks can... wanted to be like, hey guys, they're on the bridge. Just stuff them. And can... The rest of Freya Tech was not on the same page. Now you can really leave one and keep going because you can go in before this gun's even built up. It's level one right now. Yeah, and Habib is standing pipes. I think they're worried about Habib traps or at least looking for them. Yeah. Someone just bombed the gun. Got sent back into the skybox and they're gonna back up. Uh, don't like what they see, but Kev is in spawn. Gonna go for a play, unable to get it, so gonna settle into another stalemate. We'll see what Kev. Let's see. What are the odds Kev's go sniper here? I don't know. They had ad, but I guess they didn't want to play with thin margins. Maybe they weren't confident yeah. about uh, how accurate I, they The last time they went fast, it didn't work out well. Yeah. Sax is getting. Might just die to trip. Sax just died to trip. Okay. Trip just had spam? the. Okay. Trip. No, trip just had like the ammo bomb rockets. It was just oh, well played. They're bullying him a bit, though. He's taking a little bit of damage. May's there, though. He's... Oh, never mind. He's not fine. The pipes are in. <laughs> so, overall, it's a one-for-one. One. Oh, Kev's Kev on Banner? Okay, okay. He's on Banner for the it's on the it's, it's the Battalion, so he's going to get that uh, damage reduction. I'm honestly surprised. Like, I know the ba the Battalions is a better... Uh, just Banner in general, but the Conch is easier to build. And, um, it, like, during it... If you have an Uber, the, if you pop the Banner during Uber, it's really functionally worthless. But if you pop the Conch during Uber, that's pretty yeah, but I guess like if you think about it, like look at the oh, look God. at the doors they have to walk through, you know. It's yeah. like that health regen and speed doesn't really mean a whole lot with the conch if you just die. I think the speed can help catch out teams on last. I think it should be tried at some point. Oh, if you're Ubering, sure, but if you want to like, like, drive Ubering, through yeah. a doorway, like if they Uber exchange and they post Uber drive, you use it during the Uber exchange and just get really deep. Yeah, well, I mean, like for a post. Gungan like, you... gonna be cat face, but cat face sees him, is gonna fall, so. That's going to be a pick to work with, and we'll have to see what they want to do. It might be a little tough to peek into this as Sniper for Atex, holding oh, the doors very far. close, but that just means Hubbard might be in a worse spot two second. you know. Might be an easier two seconds for Trip. Catface is thinking about it. Yeah, almost hear a shot there. Kev's halfway to his banner, more than halfway. Uh, sitting on 66%, so that'll come into the equation eventually as well. Unsuccessful, able to... Uh, unsuccessful at actually using that pick to do too much there overall, except build a little bit more banner. But... Uh, they have a little bit of time left to work with. Kev's, Kev's trying to get them. For it. I think he's getting the damage. I don't know how close he is, but I don't have the plug-in. Oh, he, he has, has his banner. Now. Okay. Yep. 
so they can worst case if they run out of time it's uber exchange yeah they can uber exchange and then they can use the banner to get back out through the doors you also oh, pop the banner just are they like doing it for the south? kathy's can't get headshot so you could just take the sps too oh they're just gonna dry and then use okay they're gonna see oh, if they can okay. get the force first but i see reflect rockets going their way and no kills but oh, they let's see if they're gonna use now Sniper's gonna die though, they lost two for this exchange. This is not very good. They don't have the banner for the post anymore. So, I mean, if they bought some room, but Speedy really weak might die. No, the sticky barely escapes. The pyro, so they're pushing out with but... the pyro again, which it did work out for them last time, but they're gonna try to send players behind. Kev is gonna die, so no banner left as Cozy. They're gonna back up, just you know, lick their wounds and go to mid, which I think that's the best decision to make. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised they didn't do the other way around. And... Yeah, exchange and then try to post. Yeah, I think the the big thing is they just lost two. They only need they should have really only probably lost one. Also, doing that with a sniper is a little like the only reason you do it the with a sniper is for like that the sniper can't get headshots, so you pop the banner, take the SBS, and Cafe's literally cannot lose that. Well, Cafe was forced to surf in, so it, it turned yeah. the trip dying for the force into two people dying for the force, and then it was just over. Yeah. But. Uh, Protec have found themselves out of their own last, back on their own too, but it's metalwork, so that, you know, it doesn't give you that much more comfort compared to a lot of maps. Is Catface Sniper still on the field? They'll probably use him to try to break through. I imagine they take him over. valley, but we'll see. He's under pass right now. Under pass really also spotted. a good one, you can both, shoot some ankles. Both scouts are on the height. They're getting a little, a little deeper. Curious when Protec's gonna pull the trigger and start doing something aggressive either running at him or like doing some house shenanigans. Dingo is inside house, so it's fully stickied up and it'd be kind of hard to put. They down see the, the pipes hallway. coming too, so they should know if Dingo's in house. Yeah, so they know that's not really in a clear. Oh, oh, he, he gets hard enough. Him. He just hero shot him. He ran down the alleyway. And now heal advantage and full uber advantage for the side of the red team. Still. I guess he wasn't paranoid about the sniper getting in that deep. Thought the comms would come in first and then he could start to move. One of those like, I was scratching my nose moments perhaps. <laughs> but either way, Cozy's gonna be at the last that Habib's frag. Setting up a trap. I, I don't know what that trap is in lobby, but Habib setting up a trap in lobby. Vanny, gonna back up. We'll see if anyone dies to this Habib trap. Uh, oh, the ramp one. It's just a height advantage one where you yeah, walk up the ramp. Yeah, it's just people then, coming up the ramp. Yeah, because you avoid the shutter and you go ramp instead. See, they're going ramp. Yeah. They're going shutter as well, but they see it because Dingo peeked it. Yeah. So it won't really lead to them a whole much, but they got. Uh, <laughs> it's it's really fine time. Act. Habib's actually the spam in lobby is kind of crazy. Yep, replacing the sticks on the point now, but uh, looks like they want to uber just straight through shutter. Yep, Dingo gonna bomb in. There's a pyro, so they're gonna see if the, the, the pyro's doing a great job of reflecting, but they gotta, you know, get the guys off the point sooner or later. Habib's getting walked out by a scattered spawn. Dingo is gonna die, so this last push is already not going super great, but Trip's gonna bomb the point. They're gonna get the pyro, but both teams oh, down nice, too. They're gonna direct. still fight, but they're gonna get Ed. Could this be it? Catface is gonna get bowed up. Catface is on fire, but they could. May is just eating the spam. Catface is in, and Catface is gonna be one. Yeah, this is over. Honestly, Trip did a lot that last. He killed Vanny, he sat around, waited for an arrow, got it, and then had a really nice direct on the Gungan. And uh, and uh, the other scout was alive, I think Ed, but uh, overall not good enough. Speedy behind, Catface going for a flank, does indeed get the fourth, and Speedy is living as well. He's gonna be behind for the post. And he died too. Uh, this could Speedy. be a disaster. See him, see him. He has two shots, Habada. And uh, then, oh my god. Kev's on Spy last. Kev's Spy last. they win. They just won. Wait, no, no they're going They're going back. Wait, Ed's moving. getting pistol. He wins the pistol. It's just Gungan. Oh, I, I no. Think... This could be it for Freya Tech. Three, it's it. Three they're, separate fights. Wait, they were bring up point. They just threw. Okay, never. Three I separate they fights were. just happened, and Freya Tech lost all three oh separate fights. Oh, my God. Dude, they, they almost threw that with that Uber. They Ubered and taunted, which is, like, the absolute worst thing you could do. But it didn't matter. Cozy going to get the dub on Freya Tech's map pick on Metalworks. Uh... I'm starting to think that uh, this, I don't know if it's this version of Cozy or I would i would imagine, maybe it is, but this version of Cozy, I don't think teams are, are prepared for They them, play like, like psychopaths all. and I love it. They play like they do not care. Yeah, there there's some teams where you really, at least in my opinion, you got to play them like a handful of times to really get down their patterns. Like, I think um, there are certain teams where uh, even like, not even at the top of invite, like the lower, like the or middle part of invite, where they're just unique enough to where you wish you had a weekly against them because when it comes down to match time, they play strange to you enough that you just can't win even though yeah. you think you should. Frantic also, I think that May said that they do things in matches they don't do in scrims. They even said like they might be more of a match team than a scrim team. 
And I could see it because if they don't pull out all the like the shenanigans and memes during the scrims, it's just like kind of impossible to fully prepare for. Yep. Like so you I can this... know they're gonna do it, but that doesn't mean you're gonna like be able to stop it because that requires like a dedicated, coordinated effort to making sure like those things don't happen. The classic quote: "Knowing is half the battle." One it correct is. score guesser. One correct score guesser is we're looking at the logs and a uh, shout out to Trip for actually top damaging. I mean, Habib to get more damage, but. Trip actually top damage for his team in the dub. Number I one. was gonna say, if Trip's stats didn't look pretty on this log, that he would be the silent MVP, at least for me. Because the, the I think the obvious MVPs were the scouts and what they were doing to yeah. find cozy success. But like that was very Trip visible. Was doing, I, I saw Trip doing like God's work out there. Yeah, Trip was doing probably more than you would expect, like as a default from a roamer on your team, like I saw Trip yeah, multiple honestly, times. He was stuffing the. He was like preventing people for from walking through doors. A lot of the times, Fred couldn't do what they like wanted to do because Trip was just doing an excellent job stuffing them or making plays. Like he, it was the perfect like MVP assist kind of gameplay, you know. Oh, I want to give him even extra props because I feel like there was a time where Metalworks was one of his w w like worst maps. Yeah, <laughs> you play. can say worst maps. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> There was a time where like it was his weakest, or maybe not weakest, but it was in the lower half. But this was that this performance from him, I think, was definitely like the classic like uh, unsung hero on the Roman yeah. class, where you're you know you, your stats don't look that crazy sometimes, but you did a lot of work. But I mean, he's, he put, he put the damage in, and it shows. Yeah, I, you know, no, not the disrespect to Catface or Kev or Speedy, any. You know, that they was got a, their clips. They yeah, they, they, they all got their clips. Yeah, and they did a very good job as well. Trip didn't probably didn't get as many clips. Yeah. But. Yeah. Some of the furry players having sad stat lines, Sax of the A team in 41. Unfortunate, but you know, uh, the rover lifestyle sometimes. I feel like Sax was dying at some very unfortunate times. But I think it was like you mentioned that on demo, Metalworks is a very tough map to like, do transitions on, especially backwards transitions, and I think that more than just the demos were having issues with that at times. Yeah, it's because this map is so indoors heavy. You think about like trying to leave a point, and you usually, as an explosive class, can abuse the fact that like you can do a really big jump, like a or maybe an elaborate one as soldier, uh, by like actually getting to use the skybox. But when so much of metalworks, depending on where the fight is happening, is indoors, you your jumps are kind of stifled. You can only go so far before there's a doorway you have to land at, and that means you can't actually like use like a decent amount of distance. So. You're playing on a knife's edge more often in comparison to other maps, and uh, uh, it can be more difficult. Obviously, at this caliber of play, you know you get used to it, you know, and it's not at, it, like crazy detrimental. But at least comparison to other maps, I think there's a there's a stark contrast if you look at it close enough. All right, so moving on the goalie, if I'm for attack, right, you were just getting like looped around on like you were just getting back caps. People are always behind on metalworks. I feel like goalie is might be more of the same story because it's very easy it's even easier to get behind on goalie uh yes i will say though remember way earlier on i mentioned a concept of like uh people don't put their demo man on the flank anymore during ubers because yeah. the demo's involved in every uber so now when people go behind it's like a it's like a little flank coin flip on who wins the 1v1 or 2v2 or whatever. Yeah. Gully Wash is the only map. This is a cozy pick, but it might help Froyo. The Gully Where Wash the is demo one actually of the, lost the, the flank. The demo is never involved in the Ubers pushing out a last, like ever. Yeah. Well, maybe not never, ever. Maybe he just like, watches the shutters. 90% of the time, the Demoman is watching the shutters. And even when, like, whatever year it was where Demoman started being in, like, every Uber ever just to chase, it was after, it was sometime after, like, the scout speed change because you could actually, like, catch up to your demo when he landed using yeah. the scout speed on the medic. Uh, every, like, demo stopped holding behind inside lobbies and stuff and were involved in Ubers except for Gully Wash. Because they, they there's stayed. too many shutter doors and demo is just too good at blocking yeah. them. Yeah. So in a way, even though this is Cozy's pick, uh, the chaos factor might be a bit easier for the side of Friday Tech. And also, e even if they don't put people on the flank for like uh, for like between mid and two, the fact that there's less eyes to watch as long as you can avoid them getting through the little baby shutter or whatever to get behind it too. Like if you can hold down just big door in general, uh, I think you have a decent shot of trying to control the chaos. Also, I think people, they're... you're expecting, I feel like teams are more prepared for chaos on a goalie because it just happens a lot more, you know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. like part of the map's meta and almost that, like, people go behind, people do, you know, silly things, so people are going to be more prepared but... for it. 
Yeah, people at least try to do it more, so people have more experience doing it more. Yeah, but if you're prepped, I think it's actually, I think it's easier to control. That's fair, yeah. There's, it's like, there's two and a half lengths, not three. So <laughs> if you, if you actually, like, try to, you know, you know, we expect certain things, so we're going to play a certain way. Even though it's, like, kind of meta, sure. Uh, if you do your due diligence, you can set something up to make it more difficult. So I think, uh, it's, I think it's totally possible that even though Cozy, this is their map pick, they might have a harder time on this map compared to middle. That's true. I, uh, I do like that we're at least getting the cast goalie, because goalie's always a good time. There's just a lot of, like, there's a lot of just fun things about this map. It, it kind of reminds me of, like, even though, not that I'm calling them bad, but, like, maps like Badlands and Greenery, even if they might not be the most engaging gameplay, they're always kind of funny to watch just because there's, like, stupid things, like the two bump ass or, like, the drop down on Granary. Also, and Billy has, like, kind of those remnants of, like, the old map design where it has, like, the drop down on mid, it has, like, the under the point area. Like, it's just a lot of, like, silly areas that make for good, you know, spectating. It should also uh, be stated that uh, hyperbolically, if you are playing Habib on Gull, you might as well forfeit. <laughs> that is, is, this, is this one of Habib's like power maps? I mean, it's already a demo map, right? But it's yeah. Habib. Like, it's kind this, of a soldier map is, too, though. Sure, but th this is his, his map. Like, he will get 500 DPM at like 5 OU if you <laughs> don't keep him in check. And if you try to keep him in check, that might require too many resources to where and you And then just the rest lose. of Freya beats you. you. You just lose elsewhere because yeah. you, have to, you have to put too much on him, you know? So I... I feel like this map would be closer. I don't have a strong, like, thought or opinion on who is at going to actually win. Um, I'm not sure whether this is going to be one of those games where everybody trades each other's map picks, or if Cozy actually just looks dominant, but I think the Freyotech flank last map looked pretty weak, and this is definitely, like, a flank map, so I'm actually going to say I think Cozy wins, like, 5-4. I think, I think, hmm. This is a tough it's one. Hard. This is a tough one. This is harder than Metalworks, that's for sure. I think Sniper, I, I think Sniper, looks, the Sniper in the mid will go better on this map. I feel like it will be a Froyotech 4 to 3, or 3 to 2, something like that. I think they barely okay. win by one round and it's not getting to 5. Okay. Because these mids can be really scary. I don't know. Like, Cozy, obviously, they have something in mind as we go live for the mid fights, but even still, it, it's going to be. It could, it could potentially be really rough for them, so we'll see what happens. It's their map pick. I, I hope they're cooking something, is. Dingo yeah. is going big door. Yep, trying to go. Oh, they're Both actually. Not going. Door, actually. Yeah, they're not going for that side of the mid, actually. They're just kind of faking them out and climbing up Kev, the other side. But... Kev just walked in. New got to Habib, so, like you said, they are going to focus at B, but. Right there, kind of on the back, but Bane is behind. He's going to create a little chaos. Is and it's going to stream forward too. There's a lot of chaos. They're going to take the high ground, take the other side, but Bane's going to be a thorn in the side to do it behind them. Is and it's going to be a mid wood for Cozy, but let's see what Bane's cooking. And Sack. They have two soldiers behind on different doorways, so it's going to be a bit of a distraction. Trip finds Sack. They're going to run towards them probably. Sack's going to force Dingo's to jump away. Dingo's alone holding joke. Yeah, that's a little spooky, but uh, they're not pushing it yet, so he's fine for now. They've come back to mid. Bane's still there. Kev. He's went spawning heavy to try to scare Banny away, but uh, there's another kill to be had. He's showing himself in Big Door. He's actually bombing in. Oh, he's just gonna get out. They think Oh no, tri tri oh, they, him. they went. They went to Big Door. Okay, no, they got him. I thought he was gonna barely escape. So the, even though Sax Trip is bombing in, but Trip is gonna get immediately bullied. Habib's but just Habib, dead. they're gonna lose Habib. They're gonna lose cat face for it too. Their people are just after everywhere. They're gonna get the force in the end, but it's just two versus four. They're gonna back up and they might get forced if they're not careful. Yeah. Sack's gonna kind of miss his pogo, but May. Oh, May, May are down. Okay. Fine for oh, now. Oh, they're gonna lose Dingo. May has nobody. May has nobody. The respawn. The respawner. The trips in. Trips in. He respawned. They have forwards. Yeah, they, but they the have super is not gonna go anywhere. They'll maybe get Sacks. Oh no, he's gonna barely escape. Oh my god, soldier class. Yeah, that was a soldier class moment. Soldier but class. In the end, that equalized. So after all of that, it's gonna pretty much sell off. You know, Freyatech holding mid now. Posey holding second. Despite both their soldiers dying, they still held down the fort there. Like, they had him behind and got caught, didn't really accomplish much. But, was that uh, trip oh, on soldier? Trip. I think we. Oh, they're going. <laughs> I, so I think we gassed up the trip too much. Yeah, he used all his juice on Metal He did all of it. He used all of his, his power. Now, uh, for a tech, gonna stream in. Uber, they had like 20% Uber, so we'll see how that goes, but. I think they recognize it. I think they recognize the slight disad and they're kind of yeah. scared about it. Alright, so. Are you. Is it actually worth to be that scared over like 20% on goalie if you're holding second? 
Oh, I mean, this last is kind of small. It's not very big. There's not tons oh, of room to kite. Gets oh, my. Okay, okay. Tri trip's back. This he trip was recharging. We are so back. Although, oh, May drops. Traps, though. Or not drop, that's just a kill. May went on the point, I guess, not thinking that the team would be there in time. Like, thought that he had Here to do it, Uber. and he just dies. But they're pushing this down, too. They gotta be careful, or else you know, they have a lot of point time. This is looking like a wrap for you. Yeah. I mean, they're really Although, weak, the, though. The pyro class? Pyro class pretty good. May is coming up. May is up. May is walking out. Gonna heal. Okay, never mind. I take that back. Sax? Sax in? But the pyro. The pyro's too strong. Trying to, Zach, Speedy's trying to find him, though. Dingo finds him. I think that was just mistrust from May. Like, he didn't trust that his team was gonna react in time to deal with the person on point, so he felt like he had to do it because he saw it. And then there were stickies, and then he died. But uh, either way, it still works out because Froyo kind of screwed up their push a bit. They're finding their way back on a two. Look at Banning in the spot. He's spotted. He doesn't care he's getting scattered. He's just shooting <laughs> down at them. To shoot him. Yep, high bomb. Sink in. Is going to die. A lot of damage on the kill. Dingo. Habib just dead. Two shot by Cafe. Dingo's going to die too. Yep, overall, a demo trade. Sax is going to die. Three left alive for the side of Froyo Tech. It's because he does have the player advantage, and that is going to cause the Froyo Tech Wait, retreat. Froyo has no projectile classes. They can just walk through a door if they want. They could, but they have respawn and disad because they don't have they Kev do. or Dingo. So it'd be like a 4v4 with position disad. That's fair. And faster people rolling out on Froyo. The Dingo's the big one. Dingo's like the freshest death, so your demo end would not participate in that. Mm, but that's oh, fair. the soldier battle, Banny just, okay, he loses the 1v1 to Kev. And Trip immediately goes drop down. Is he seen? I think, I don't know. Well, he's seen now. He's, he he's in open. Oh, now. oh, I didn't get it. But Kev with the spam isn't able to get it either. So a good attempt, but no dice is. They're going to lose, trade one for one, not the biggest deals. They're going to try to go big door off of this pick. There, Cat Face has a good, oppor big opportunity here. Uh, Ooh, yep, there we go. That's a, the, one of the best picks you can get oh, over Kev, the Kev's in mid, Kev's in mid. Okay, he gets oh, airshot. Air 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 okay, never mind. Never mind. But uh, they're still... Are they just going to use it? Bigger. Yeah, they think they can catch a sniper. They, they might find a demo instead. Oh, we can save. This Uber so much better for a team. They got the scout so hurt. It's a disaster. This is a disaster. They are crumbling hard right now. They're all dead. Oh, the that headshot face kills well. Manny. Yeah, Zax behind. Oh my god, wait, oh, Habib. Habib. The salvage, I don't think they, they, they lost just, track of him. They just didn't expect Habib to trap that. And Habib saucing on Dingo too. They, they forgot about him rolling out because he wasn't there and just showed up late and got Habib two. He gets a third. Speedy. Somebody three stop him. One. Even stop if he Habib. dies here, yeah, that's super worth by him. He got three for one types don't in chat and that's Kev climbs the entire team. Trip almost got, he's alive for now. He'll be able to jump away, but Freutecker now in the swing of thing, trying to get some room on the opposing two. They're not going to find too much resistance and able to take it for themselves. They're going to take it for themselves, and I, I see what you meant by uh, Habib definitely. That was a Habib moment. They lost, like, Freya lost that definitively. And Gully Habib, is his map. Habib just kind of, like, I don't know, just did Habib things, and now Freutecker's winning again. Yep, and they do have an ad to work with because of Hubba dying earlier than May. And uh, yeah, they're prepared. They got the gun moved up. They got the pyro. Got to set this down quick. Get it built up. They're out to get. They might just dot push. It's only level one. Oh, he can't even. Don't repair it. You're gonna die. Oh, here they go. Repair this. Oh, the speedy's dead. Oh no, he's uh, really no, escaping. He just kind of wobbled out. I'm surprised they didn't try to jump the engineer. They get Dingo though. That's huge. No sticky on the huge. point. One for one. They lose Sax as well. They're gonna Kevin's lose Cafe. So the river. First thing, river. they're kind of backing up. So they're gonna lose a beeb and they got. You know, the initial picks, but they couldn't get any point time or anything like that. Banny's lingering in lobby, so you can get for something. Banny might be dead. If they get this kill, they can push for sure. Oh, he jumped Banny, away. Banny, oh, he's so hurt. He's going to get this bowed. Is, this is sketchy from Cozy. Yeah. This is not a definitive uh, push Cat out. Cat is on yeah, spy, they, leaving spawn. They realize it. They're thinking now. I like this spy timing, too, because as long as he doesn't open the shutter himself, which Banny is kind of lingering. <laughs> They do have disad though, so if he tries to go for a stab and just dies, that's an immediate pick before the it Uber is. even begins. But and this is also, go, you know, he probably they should needs expect to go before this. Banny's like actually trolling cat face right now. Yeah, he needs to go ASAP, so if he does die, he can get He looked at the Uber percentage, he called the percentage. Yeah. Banny's but like the, actually <laughs> trolling him so hard, they're gonna get tripped. Uh, okay, he has to go. I imagine they're going, they're going wherever it, he's calling it to. They got the gun too, oh my god. Cat face is going for it now, I think. Yeah, here he goes. Oh, they're playing it even. Ed's in water. Kev's there, kills him. He That's drops good. him! The revolver? I'm gonna just disrespect that, and like I said, is. the revolver, you can't disrespect the revolver. The revolver has, does a lot of damage. Especially after a butter knife, too, because yeah. you only need two, not three. Yeah. And he hit the two, so that's a drop right there, and May has, and friends have found their opening to try to can open their way out of last. 
Sax is trying to hold down the forward and upper, but they only have so many heals until Hubba has a respawn and, and met the team. They're trying to shove him out now. Nice directs from Trip. Able to kill him. Gets weak himself, but uh, isn't going to die. Has the, the pack and May with him is for work on the way through. And Frytech's just gone. Hey, they ran out of gas. Yeah, they just backed they up. Leave, they could leave one to keep going, maybe, honestly. Before I think they're worried about back caps, which I understand it is goalie. I, yeah, I guess so. But they still have some time where Sax isn't there. He's also a you know, larger oh, bread, but drop speedy. they, they do drop move. speedy, which is huge. There's they no Frantech players. Drop. They can find Habib if Habib doesn't get a kill in the process somehow. They're trying to just try in, potentially. They're trying oh, to try in, but Dingo is there. They're going to get May. The soldiers are here. The scouts are just saucing of the cozy players. It's just Drip. That's a really good play from Manny. No wonder they're poking and prodding the the um the door. I didn't realize that he was able to escape in a way that uh, let himself come from the side. So uh, I guess the trade wasn't that worth it at the end. Didn't have enough eyes up to kind of see who was coming. So at the end of the day, Troy Tech hold on strong. They don't lose mid and actually reclaim the opposing second as their own after just losing it. And once again, found themselves with advantage. Deja Vu is catfaced on Pyro this time. Up against the Shutter, hoping they're going to go Shutter lower. He might be correct this time. He's, uh, he's coin flipped his way correctly. He's not going to be beamed, I don't think. The gun's getting built up to try to bait them in that direction. And here comes the Pyro. Oh, the py they're, 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 they're just not Ubered. This they're is so smart. Ubered. They're not, not getting, oh, Nanda but they did kill any kills anyway. And they killed May. Gunga just ran in and killed him. Okay, this is a uh, last push. Unless, uh, there's no way for it to beat this. Cozy played so confidently that the Pyro was going to buy time against the Fragging classes, but he only caught the Medic. So Habib and Gungan still running forward, despite being not Ubered, got damage and kills. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, if I mean, if they're attacking you guys and killing three of you, yet they're not even Ubered, I mean, maybe that's Focus Fire? I don't really know. They didn't really get that hurt. But yeah, either way, know. good job from Freud Tech. They put themselves on the board 1-0 in this Gully Watch match 10 minutes in. 10 minutes in, Frantic up 1-0, and so far looking pretty good for Freya, but you know, Cozy has shown they can also, this is their map pick. They're not looking incompetent at it, oh, although they go, they go in May, the May is also good. Yep, it, they got goalie mitted. Pretty much, Sax seals the deal there, and extra damage on a May Effie's as well. behind, Trip behind. Yeah. Just Trip, yeah, Trip's going down, drop down. Some, they can cause some chaos. They have spotted Trip yet. Actually, they're on their, Catface is on their own side, so it's only yeah. Trip that's behind. Oh, he's gonna fight Vanny. He gets directed, jumps away to avoid the wall shot. Alive for now, but not much longer. Trip's it's trying forced. to die, I think. He's, well, he's forced to kind of fight him. <laughs> yeah. He probably expected Choke not to be safe. Yeah. Even though there's a pack there, so he felt like he had to kill Vanny. That was his best case scenario. Oh, there was Kev no might choke, be, though. oh, Kev got rolled by Habib, but Kev gonna back up and, um, they're just gonna uber straight in. They're down Trips, so that's one less soldier to block the point. Kev is going to bomb the point, bomb water, but there's nobody there. There's a Pudis and Kev are in water. Heavy in water. He's not beamed, but he's still going to be a force to be Yeah, also, with. he has the head glitch in. He, the head glitch is very active. At least he's going to walk forward, and Habib is just going to pipe him down. Dingo's still alive. Dingo's going to get Habib. Oh, point. Dingo can't get Habib. It almost looked like Froyotech was going to crumble there, but they clutched at the last second. I think the the water play from uh, Vanny really sealed the deal. Coming from yeah. the alternate angle. If they all came from the front, that was going to be way more difficult. But really good job. Once again, I think Vanny is kind of... He's put both those rounds, I think, kind of uh, in his back pocket there. He's, he's leading, right. his, leading his team to victory 2-0 in this Gully Wash game. The Banny pocket, maybe, you know, the Boomer pocket does pay off on the, the kind of Boomer map. He's putting the team in his pocket on pocket. And this Habib, whole Habib did not have to Yep, pretty much. They didn't even use that much to take him out of the equation. There was no trade. Yeah, Habib, like, swung out in, wide. But... Okay, they get, the, they get the kill on the trip. That's about it, though. So, overall, really good job. Take Habib out of the equation and uh, secure the mid for themselves, and we'll see what they have in store for us. As Habib's not quite there to sticky anything off. Sax is also rolling out as well. So the spam from Freytech isn't that good for the, the time being, but uh, there's no Uber to use or anything or try to force Banny and drop down, unspotted. No one sees him. Is he going to go free for three? Jumps up, drop down, find the scout. Ooh, Banny gets kind of sauce by Dingo. Never yeah. mind. Yep, he was preparing. Well, Freytech, so 2v2, or sorry, one for one. Both soldiers down, so Cozy, it's up to them to see what they want to do, and let's see if Kev goes for fire some, something else that's even sillier. He might. The sniper's yep. pretty good. Yep, there's the sniper. Yep, sniper. It makes sense, too, because that big door angle is really good, and you kind of have to, like, peek it a bit, so you definitely have opportunity. Yeah, and they could do... They have some potential to bait a Uber as well. Yeah. If they if they time it right. I think Cozy did a pretty good job at trying to bait okay, teams into got body certain shot. things. They do know. Do that? Okay. I didn't see yeah, their yeah. health drop. Also, the, the op sound is like really loud. Oh yeah, they definitely know now. Yeah. You know, they're, they're trying to finagle this a certain way. Catface has gotten behind, so that's going to be an extra Cat layer. Catface nice to spam, so good spam there from Freya, but Dingo has it locked down pretty well. Catface is going to see if he can fight it, 
Zax is trying to like find Cat Face, just lock him down. As Cat Face is a uh, too busy collection. walking around. Trip the is holding down Trip. Minigame. Yeah. There's two going back for Cat Face. There's two going now. back for him. If if Cozy realized this, Cat is peeking up though, so Trip they're kind of they're, they're also down one. Yeah, they're gonna find Cat Face. They're just oh, using in. They made a big move. Oh, Cat Face backed up. They just wanted to leave and hold it, but they I think they lost more than expected. I think May thought that everyone was going to be able to get out at least for the oh, most part, but they lose Trip as well. Yeah, big miscommunication there on uh, what the intentions were. Maybe it was a heated they're moment decision, the they spawn. They're all actually hiding in forwards. Habib yeah. trying to spawn camp, but if they they're get these get spawns, two of them. they're going to get two of them. Do they just uber yeah, they straight do. through? They're kind of Yeah, blind, I think you just uber straight through if they're all on the point. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, but Oh, we... but they, they knew. They knew. Yeah. And there's two soldiers behind, kind of. Sax is getting out. Banny's Sax is actually hiding. Banny is going to collapse onto them as they try to retreat here. If they try to retreat. They're actually trying to push. They're trying to poke in the mid through the choke. I think they, they do the, the front flanks for her, but Cat, Cat Face is going to fall to the Habib and... Oh, this There's is not so going much, well. Oh, and here's the Banny flank. Mace dead. The time. I mean, they they 6 v 5 that and it did not work. They got a lot of damage on Habib, but they lost two for it. So once again, this Habib's map do not test him. The two not the test them. That's, yeah. that's fair. Best coast running away, back to last they go, and this is looking like a done deal potentially. They gotta wait for soldier respawners though. On they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna get their spawns, so they have another last push. And Cozy, they have held last, but I feel like Gully last isn't, you know, isn't one of the tougher that lasts to push. I could be wrong with that. I mean, it's a much smaller last, so it's easier to chase things around. Yeah, it's not like pro. It, yeah, I, I don't think Gully really last is that bad to push. Yeah, got the gun, got the pyro, defense set up. They waited for their soldiers. They know the Uber is pretty big, so maybe they're trying to spam or whatever early on, but they're just going through Shutter, trying to get the gun down. Immediately goes down. Pyro next, maybe, or they're not going to the point quite yet. Speedy. And went through water trying Speedy. to do it. Staying out of Pyro, actually. Yeah, staying out. It's fine for now, up, up until they lose two explosive classes. At least it trades two for two, but losing Catface. Protect looking pretty strong here. The Uber's not in the equation, and overall. Wait, they oh, got Uber. He's on Uber Soft. He's still on Solemn Valve, he's gonna get sent to the sky. There's, there's nobody also, there's nobody here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two stickies. The beam knew what was up, but an MT. Yeah. I mean, honestly, good play to Salvage, but uh, just not not quick enough to get those saws. Maybe if there was a, another player alive, they could have started to get more damage, maybe an extra kill. Kill the like... so you couldn't juggle the medic up in the air. Extra it's looking like the, the OG for but... attack players. So Beeb and Vanny definitely have the secret sauce on Gully. They seem to be the stand-up players by far. Yep. News alert. Uh, good players are good. As a uh, trip, trip. Oh my God, trip is getting destroyed right now. But man, so is Freya Tech no, though. Freya Tech. Oh goodness. Yeah, trip, died. trip got destroyed, but for what cost? Yeah, he was just a distraction. They were looking up the whole time that they didn't actually see Kev. Uh, he's bombing. He went in and killed Hubba. Saxophone gets piped trying to salvage. O overall, Kev is the only one that died. After Trip got tossed around so hard, <laughs> they didn't even kill him. So overall, maybe it was just excellent bid by Trip. That was a you know, potentially round winning. Uh, or I Some guess drunken play. master gameplay right there. <laughs> you know, Trip. So, uh, Trip just has that it factor. What can I say? But gotta get on Pyro. We're gonna see a frail take last hold for. Is this the first frail last hold we've seen? Um, I don't remember. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So, get to see. Freytech does not have an NG. Okay, now they have an NG. They have the level 3, they have the Pyro. Looks pretty similar to the Cozy last hold. Very Never similar push. as the the Pyro is doing good work, but a lot to see. The gun is taking a while to die, but they have to block they didn't the block the sol Hello, soldiers? Okay, Sax was behind the gun position, so he, I don't think he felt confident like getting through like past the scout. And then Banny got damaged over by the shutter, I think, so didn't wasn't healthy enough to actually block. So... I think <laughs> it's, it's just Sax... funny, the scout just like AFK'd on the point. Like, it could have just walked away from his PC and would have been fine. I think the positioning from Sax kind of screwed him. I don't think Banny expected to be the first person to be needed to block, and Sax yeah. couldn't block. So that's just done round there. So 3 to 1 in Freytech's favor. Another mid. They're trying to stuff them in the elbow. They're doing an okay Sax job is kind of waddling on the low side, but they Sax had to be careful. He's going to jump out, but already down one. They're going to retreat, get out just in the nick of time. So overall, Banny, though. very non committal mid. Yeah, he's we'll see what, what is Banny. He's underneath him. They're gonna poke in a bit. Oh, he's just trying to bomb Dingo. That's a target he sees. He gets speedy instead. Uh, it's something at least. Yeah, got rather, rather get one than empty-handed. His trip is behind. Very, very deep. I think they know this. Gungan's trying to chase him. Saxophone's considering it, but he doesn't want to leave his, his guys at choke. Because if he leaves, it's really bad. They're trading a bit. Sax is now taking the mantle fight trip while uh, one of the scouts is a bit more on the passive side. Is Everyone from Cozy is just at the choke. They're trying to test Beeb. They bomb through with an Uber exchange, trying to get the Ubers out of the equation. 
See if they can take some space here, get some flashes in. Ed is going to die in the back lines, but Trip will overall give up his life. Dago There's walks through taken. Choke, so this could They're be tough if Dago in. hits his shots. They're losing people, I hope it does though. hurt. They're failing to kill Gungan. He's just alive. The arrow they did so much Hubba. damage. They get Gungan, and they still alive, so they can hit these players up. But there's four combat classes for the setup for a second. They're just going to back up, not get flanked. Clutch from May. Yeah. That's Super a clutch. Different, that's, a different, that's a different fight there if he doesn't get that. The heals unavailable from Flyotech is what made Cozy just win this so hard at the tail end of it. Zax so might Zach, be a late death here. Oh, hits his head. Is a pack up. He's trying to run away. May almost hit the boat. Kev gets him. Kev's gonna hit get him in the end, so Frantic back on last year. Cozy finding themselves back in this game after kind of a very slow start for them. Yep, they're slowly and surely clawing their way back, but uh, I think they do have time to actually build up this Uber. Uh, or at least not the Uber, but the gun. They got the gun, they got the pyro. I'm, I want to watch the Frantic soldiers on this last defense, because last time Sax couldn't actually block the point, and then Banny was unhealthy and couldn't do it either. Uh, so I'm, I kind of want to see how they're positioning themselves and if that's going to be deja vu. They're just using for the shutter, but dead, Speedy got launched in. And then Banny can't block because he's behind them for the post. Oh, but they're, they're Banny's going to get Dingo. That makes up for it, but not enough if they, yeah, they get oh, it to the Uber, front. Though. They got the Uber. It's just May. Okay. That's a full The Uber way. bails them out. I, if they didn't get that Uber in time, that could have been really gnarly because the way their soldiers if Banny also didn't the get Dingo, there. Banny actually right. got the kill going behind. So like a high risk play did work out in the end. They're going to deny these spawns, I think. They should, yeah. It's just gonna be Dingo, maybe it's a trap here or there. But uh, that's gonna be it, pretty much. Yeah, Dingo set up some traps. I don't think anyone will die to it, but we'll see. Mm, probably not. Maybe? Uh, oops, people are thinking, oh, Gungan's thinking about it. Oh, how about I get sniped from Catface? Oh my god, Catface hits two! I didn't even realize he respawned, he's already up two on this class right now. His Gungan's on the floor, gonna get chased down. He's hit three! He got oh. Khabib on his exit! Oh my god, that crumbled just just as fast as he crumbled on last. Really did. They crumble right back, Froyotech, on mid. It's now add the, the goalie once again mid sniper generated. goes really hard sometimes. You think because it's like a small map, it doesn't go hard, but no, the goalie mid sniper goes hard. Especially, it's a very good point. Especially when it's cat face. Yeah. You, you have to respect his sniper at this point. You do. As Sax is almost going to die to spam here. Going to get out to last, but. That okay, Gun Gun going to get revenge on cat face, so the SBS going in the way of Froyotech, but. Small consolation as a. Uh, they can go main. Yeah, they're just gonna go with the 5v6. Yeah, Pyro's there. They get the gun. Not much else though. They got Hubbard a week. May's weak as well. This is not Trip's gonna go good. in. They lost. Trip's gonna they lose. Lost May. They lost. Yep. Yeah. They didn't get any space. They were stuck on low ground. The Pyro did his job. That's all that you can really say. So really good job uh, positioning there. Cat is uh, on spy. That's oh, the play. Oh, he's just gonna win. Froyotech doesn't leave. Oh no! Oh no! Wait no! Yeah okay. Banny and Sax are on soldier, so they do leave yeah. one at last. He's Banny gonna try to pistol Banny. Let's see if Banny gets pistol. Nah, Banny is the high no. ground. NT though. Benda. Yeah, you're you're playing against both like two soldiers who are willing to actually sit on last, and they don't do like that. We're just couple up, cover all the doors, you know that type of yeah. gameplay. Especially so. against this team, heads up play from Banny. Banny Banny's oh, been Uber, a long round, long round. He does. Dingo barely escapes. Same with Trip. So this Uber will actually get nothing. They find a sniper so that they gain the, the knowledge that he exists once again. It's gonna be Kev this time. It's a sniper, Big Durgan. Habib's gonna get body shot. If he can swing out here, this could be a little tough. As yeah, yeah they have to, to hide now, but they're kind of baiting Kev. Kev's in the door. He has to back up, and uh, they don't want to peek too hard. Gave Kev the opportunity to get a shot, but Freytech backed up, and uh, Kev's just gonna watch Big Door now. Yeah, probably. Actually, he's rotating. They, they let Sax get behind. No one's watching. Oh, I think Trip might have signed at the last moment. Maybe. Oh, he knows maybe. now. He's getting shot. But uh, they got Uber. One behind. Kev's Catface. walking through oh, choke. Oh, Catface loses the one to a nice shot from Sax. Nice Kev shot just from walked Kev, choke and got Habib, though. Killing Habib. That's going to be huge. This is a small Habib is so deep. But... You don't understand. <laughs> yeah. I don't... They can't use this ad anymore, especially with Sax behind. Uh, but uh, still, they can they can poke and prod. They can They're just walking use in. The, the sniper factor. Nobody's in big door. They don't even know. They now know. But it's and like kind of too late. And Sax is dead behind as well. Yeah, so they, there is... They're not looking good for Freya. Banny in the elbow. Speedy's just walking at Banny. Banny is about to die to Speedy. They have so much room here. Oh, it is Speedy. Is okay, there we go. One, one trade. Trip oh, dies in the back line. The head gets two. That's huge. And Kev's still in big door. Posted up. They overstayed their welcome very heavily. They did. They kind of had different ideas, but they're peeking at the Kev sniper. Kev gonna miss the initial shot. Gonna back up. Cat face gonna get uh, ornamented. So they're gonna settle it back to last. As Freya Tech is gonna take second. Yep, gonna get the respawners at least. They have to wait for the cap to go up on the side of Frytech before they begin to start to really push. I mean, they can try, but they're just gonna hide and spawn. They got everyone up now. No engineer yet for the stalemate. It's not going for that option. Assuming that the sack's gonna be coming immediately and they don't wanna do it quite yet, I guess. But uh, 
Oh no, they'll go for it now. Okay, they got the pyro, they got the gun. Start building it up now. If those tech's gonna take their time healing up before they just rip it. Uh, a lot of defense gets set up. But I'm um, curious how many people actually sack on Froyo, because it might be none. It might be a pressure cook. I think we've yeah, seen, they might. despite how many times we've seen Froyo tech in general throughout the years be willing to do like three and four mans for just it, like into last to try yeah, to get they something. Did it in Metal Wars. They Gully Wash is the one map where I think you actually see them pressure cook first. They, yeah, I think, I mean, it's just a good map for it, you know? If, if you're confident in your spamming classes and confident you can do it, I, I don't see why not. Also, it, I feel like... I don't know if these Warbrands are bad on Gully, because it's a Horman, but I definitely think the Pressure Cook is... This is one of the best maps for it. We do have a scout. Did they yep. get water? Yeah, Ed's in Yeah, Edwin in water. It pulls Trip away from a door, so now Habib it gets a little bit easier time spamming. Same with Sax. They're holding down the shutter, but the that's pyro, about though. it. Oh, they're gonna they get, get the gun. They get the gun. So pulling trip away from the door helps them with Ed existing in water still. They get the gun again. There's Ed's a lot gonna of immediately hurt die players. though. There are a lot of hurt players, but they only did step one. They peeled people away to get the gun, but step two did not really employ very well. So just burnt off time. There's some Nate also dancing a bit. on a sticky, but gotta. Pack yeah, them. he's he's fine. He took the pill. This he's poor sentry. Already. Okay, they put speedy on a Gino. Cafe's cut off. Yeah, calf face on pyro. It might have been Speedy that said, get me off Pyro, let me swap. I, I, I could see that, actually. But, uh, yeah, Speedy gonna be in a I like the Speedy engineer dead. loadout. That's a good loadout. But, uh, we'll probably see someone getting water again, I imagine. I think is on shotgun, and the uh, Year of Our Lord 2024 on Pyro. Oh, Sax tried to go in. They're just doing a normal two-man because the gun isn't built up. They're not going kind of sacked and then decided gun. to live, so they, they, they got, you know, got their one man in. But they're, a single. They're, Fairtex bleeding a lot of time trying to pressure cook and not successful. Like, they're just killing the gun over and over again. It's just a multi-step process, and they, they're they not hitting the other steps yet. Yeah. Like, the gun the gun is dying like, again and again, but the actual sacks themselves with the gun dead, I mean, you usually have to give up something to get the gun dead well, like that. <laughs> you, know, you peek and take damage or maybe even get headshot. Ed's and he's in getting water. sauced by, uh, who is that, Kev? That's Kev. Oh my Wait, God. they dropped! He just swings it. You oh. have to respect the swings. They're going to lose three right now. It's just soldiers left alive. Sack dies at last. Banny's in spawn. Banny's in spawn, too. Can't even see him. Kev's literally hunting down Banny. Yeah, he barely avoids the spam. Oh. <laughs> Habib, he saw Habib. He saw Habib spawn and wanted Habib to open the door, but Habib didn't open it yet, I don't think. Oh. And, uh, he just dies with his back to the wall. Miscommunication, and that was kind of funny. <laughs> Poor baby. But they're a soldier down at mid now. They have less in the tank to actually yeah. get this force. They, they're just trying to milk this up through big door. Stuffing them all the chokes. They're not even in. Now Banny's up on Sniper in the forward. The control point is being contested. Hey, is, is, that, is that a tilt Sniper? Is that a... Not that Banny's no, tilted, but is that like a, you know, oh, I, I, I gotta no, look, cleanse he, my palate. He's guessing correctly, one. look. He's yeah. guessing correctly. Yeah, but they just... Oh, they also, the other team guessed correctly, too. They're just gonna use it and, uh... Yeah. They're not gonna get any kills, but they oh, avoided Kev. the Sniper. Might find sacks, or maybe it's vice versa. No kills, they just got ground. So overall, good job from Froyo. Sniper forces them immediately. They all get out. Even Sax as well, who was in really deep. So now they have an Uber of their own to try to push out a last. So we'll see how they begin to work this as they've reached nine. And he's going through up. baby door and yeah. finds a soldier. But Habib trapped it off, so I actually like the coordination there. That if you try to push Bandy, you're just going to run into Habib traps. Yeah, so we'll see how they begin to work this. They're pushed out into the choke. Oh, the force. The, they they there's a the force. force and everyone escapes except for Kev. Overall, just one person dying. Good job from the side of Cozy. That's pretty much what you want to give up, just one. So leapfrog scenario here. Probably will be able to retake two, but they don't have a sniper this time to get an immediate force, so they might, uh, I mean, if they push now, Kev won't be there. They could do something with the flank, maybe. I think but, they're just uh, gonna wait for the Uber again. I think they're, they're it looks like, they, they, I think they might bomb bit Dingo in. That's what it looks like. To yeah, Kev will be there. They'll probably, yeah, they might just bomb. No, they're going slow. They're okay. making space. They know the ad's like pretty big and they can afford it. Sax is kind of close. Okay, May gets through. Sax is, is gonna, gonna die, die for though. Okay, Sax should die too if they're. There's the Uber. Okay, they get Sax. A bit of a fake. Banny might He's die a... too if they're not careful. Banny's gonna try to get out, but they get three for that. They just attack... ease. They ease them into a false insecurity. Yeah. Though. Speedy gonna find Banny, but can Speedy win the one v one? Banny is in the in the sad corner. They're gonna trade out Speedy for May is on the pipes. Okay, this is chaotic, but they're gonna May's just gonna get on the point. They need to block the point. May is not even hitting people, just hitting people. They can that take both really... the spawns in time. That's a that's a round for Cozy. That was right. really good. You go slow, you have the, the ability to recognize that because you're going slow, they're actually going to start getting slightly more aggressive because you're not afraid of the demo bomb. And then because you recognize that, you say, screw it, let's instead do the demo bomb in the middle of your push. And then you catch three with it, whereas otherwise you maybe could have caught one at best. It's a really good job actually changing their playbook based on what they saw. 
and the round is well deserved. And they're getting close to tie up the game. We're not in infinite overtime yet, but we are on another game where Habib dies to the sniper. To oh, mid. Cat Cat hits two. He's on one right now. Someone check him, PC. Is Sax going in for the bomb? High ball on to mid. Hits one rocket. Oh, he's two body shots there. He almost got the air shot into May, but May lived. Nice surf for May, but the cat face sniper in mid has popped off twice now, and it's definitely something like I would expect for it to maybe like have a nice bomb into it. Uh, cat face just went for the hero shot, trying to get off sniper. I respect it. Did not hit the shot, but that's okay. Is cat face gonna get off sniper? Maybe not. Who knows? It's cat face. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't put a pass him to stay on it. It's a stalemate after all. Yeah. Uh, he could go scout to try to go behind and work that angle, but honestly, considering what he just did at mid, he's probably feeling himself. He'll just stay on it. Yeah, we'll see. And see. he's staying on Yep, it. staying on Sniper. Yep. On, uh, not honestly, if, you hit, if you're hitting those kinds of shots, why not? You know, you, got, yeah, you gotta, cool. like, go with the hot hand, as they say. Let's go for it. Yeah. Well, probably gonna the, work through Big Door. They're probably gonna work through Big Door is... Frantic has also shown that they're not super great at dealing with the Sniper in general. It's definitely, like, even going back to their product match in the regular season, definitely an issue of theirs. And... Yeah, there is something left to be desired. Yeah. Speed is considering going behind, does, isn't going to commit, just wants to see who's sitting there, what's up. But Cafe is kind of deep. Furry will eventually pull the trigger and use. Oh, here it is, right then. They, they, they the flash Cafe they and they drop Manny. Yeah, they, that's going to be a one-person disad here for the side of Froyotech after this exchange. And they have maybe a bit of better damage, but oh, oh they're going to be... Hubbard is really weak too. He can't really cross that well. They're trying to push mid. They will get the kill on the trip. So Ed will go ahead and start the, the back cap. They gotta get this kill on the Gungan quick because they're starting to lose some ground here at mid. They gotta run back. It is a 3v3. This no, is a really heads up play from Freya because they Danny's have to fight this. There. Yeah, Danny's gonna, gonna get here too. Is he gonna get May? They're gonna get mid, but the Freya players might be caught out if they're not careful. And Dingo is nuking that player. So it's just Dingo. Oh my oh, god, Habib, it's a though. slaughter. Habib's here. Yeah, they are in blue team territory for way too long. So they do successfully back cap onto mid, work their way back to two. And honestly, good job from Freya salvaging what was going to be a pretty terrible situation. Yeah, once they the gets ninth, I thought it was over. Their only path to victory was to shoot like and kill Trip at Choke and then start that back cap. And they did it. They did the, their one path to victory and Cozy kind of got caught. They, they couldn't even really push to mid. They had high ground to sad. So, you know, what, what can you do? Maybe go yeah. run towards the respawners and kill Bane and Ruber then kill, kill Habib or something. But yeah, they have Ad. They're just working through Big Door. Mindful of the traps there. I think uh, Dingo set some in the pallet and then some in Baby Door. So we'll see what angle they take this and what route they run down. But uh, it is a yeah, I, I always like the like. pallet trap. That's a good one. Although you can't. It's kind of... They're well, changing their mind. They're going choke instead. It, that's killed some time. It's no longer big. It's a small ad. Yeah. If they and if they, if they try to milk this through, it's going to be a disaster. Gungan, oh, they have to use it, but everybody's Cafe's dying. Is living. He's living. He's getting out. They're, okay, they're, they're, okay, just they barely. chased just him barely back, but this could be a refight. Yeah, they're, yeah. this is a refight. Oh, and oh it's, no, it's a dude. They're very caught. There's a scout behind as well. That, yeah, they're just getting through choke with the Uber. Yeah. And he's trying to stick E behind, but he's trying to he's trying to pipe A, gonna surf back. They surf, but Hubbard is gonna die, so now they have no heals. Yep, now they just gotta heals, use the heal advantage. Gungan is behind around two. Trip will try to get a rocket on him, but he's escaping for now. Banny at the choke still. Frojek trying to figure out how, what angle they want to okay, work. Good job but... from Trip there, killing him. Oh, the traps? Oh, okay, not enough to kill Trip. Habib almost gets the kill on Trip, but uh, Habib might call that to if they're not careful, because they might just go through choke. Yeah, Kev's going through choke. He's clearing things, and Banny's committing to this, and gonna find Trip, gonna kill Trip with Trip's face. Danny, that helps. moving back to mid, and that's a huge play because they went back to go find Danny, and now Danny's you know just still in the big door. Yeah, instead of drawing through mid and potentially taking it for relatively free, or at least pulling it, now you actually have to use your Uber to yeah take it. So good job from Danny there. Otherwise, that uh, the, the push would have, probably would have continued. Honestly, locked him out through the chokes or whatever. But they have their, uh, their Uber now. They're in choke. They want to Uber immediately. Yeah, you look they at do. this bomb from Ningo. Oh, the lock and load on a gun again. Zax is caught as <laughs> well. They get two for this, but Banny in the corner. Banny is behind in the little banana. Yeah, I, I know Kev checked this last time. I don't think they checked it this time. So we'll have they to see. They did not. They did he not. He knows they're stacking. He doesn't want to bomb kind of like, scout. Not that Banny doesn't like hide often, but like, it's not usually. Oh, they're just getting nuked too. Banny, okay, here comes the here comes the pitch. Yeah, he's hiding he's in the corner. He's rig. just going to kill May. Oh, the Look, timing though, the timing, he sees him. Oh, he has, no, he has the timing. Yeah, they... I mean, the timing of when Cozy tried to push that, they... Wait, why did Dingo drop? He committed. I guess he thought he's, he would he die getting out. chased choke. I guess that was... Honestly, it was probably a safe call that they would have maybe Speedy chased choke. Yeah, Speedy is on Sniper in the Fords. Overall, despite the chaos that Cozy is kind of 
like showing right now. It's like I said, Froyotech is doing a, a really good job of controlling it. Yeah. And also and they're it's able infinite to, overtime, yeah. They're doing some of themselves. I will say it's it is a lot on Banny that is doing a lot of the plays right now that's kinda of salvaging. Yeah, Banny's for hiding their team. Yeah, Banny's doing a lot of the, I notice he's like he's the player like sniffing out like the chaos. He's also the one hiding in corners and going for big plays whenever like punishing Cozy whenever they do go for risky strats. So Banny's definitely I think the real architect of this Froyotech victory so far. They could end this map right here. This is match point. For yeah, this is. The Pyro's on the field, getting healed concurrently. They're going to get the gun. Habib a bit slow to deal damage to the Pyro that will eventually die. But they're die. getting kills. Speedy's going to fall. In. So much damage. They, the there's so much team. damage, but they're not going to get any kills. The they're finally going to get Banny, but going to fall on the cat time. Can they do it? Is this it for Cozy on this map? They're sitting on the point, but based on it's healing, bad. they're going to heal May. 95? 95 to make it. No, May died. Zax gets two kills, and that's going to be it. May dying at 98%, and... Froyo is going to take Cozy's map pick on map 2, and we are going to map 3 Sunshine. Yeah, and uh... Yeah, Sunshine? Yeah, probably going to be very different than I think both maps we've seen so far. Just in general, not just the chaos factor, but uh, we've seen with Metalworks and Gully, it's very projectile heavy a lot. Sometimes scouts kind of, you know, get put in the back burner, but now you get your, your real chance to, to shine. It is going to be a Froyo tech pick, so, you know, you kind of have to trust that they would have something, you know, prepared for this. But this has also been a match where you've taken your opponent's map pick. So, honestly, anything's possible. Yeah, anything's possible at this point. Looking at the logs here, I see that Habib with the top damage, as one would accept. Habib, Habib also taking a lot of damage, so I guess Habib playing tank demo. As a... I mean, you kind of got to, you know, you got to kind of keep him under control if you want to be able to, to find a path to victory. And there were some times where they were able to do, you know, some work. To try to make sure he wasn't, you know, gonna go crazy, but uh, Banny also like, up to like 333, said, so Banny's up there too. Shout makes out to, sense considering yeah. the plays. Honestly, all the projectiles, like all the scouts, are the bottom four DPMers. This <laughs> is just mm -hmm. all the scouts. It's which... fine, they they have their chance to shine now. Yeah, now they can it's play been, the game. It's been Soldier and Demo Man City the past two maps, and now the, we get to see who wins the scout battle. I, yeah. I will Zach's say, also though, doing well, you know, with the 284 DPM, so Zach's redeeming himself a bit after map one. I will say that if if my theory is correct about like the chaos factor being controlled more on, on Gully Wash and why it was easier for Froyotech to like keep things under control, I mean Gully Wash is probably the best map they could have gotten. Now you're back to Sunshine, yeah. which, you know, that's just a normal map. There's plenty of flank plays that you can do. It's very sniper friendly. Not the friendliest compared to like product or process, process. but it's but it's like up there, you know? Yeah. Especially with mid. So, uh, you know, it might not be that safe of a ride, even though it's their pick. This this could be a BO3 where you just win the opposing map pick, and it could be a project lower before. bracket. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, sometimes it's just the, you know, the, the game is strange that day. Un, un, peculiar things happen, but we have seen Cozy on Sunshine. I don't know if you've seen that much Freya on Sunshine. We probably have, but I, I recall Cozy on Sunshine much more than Freya, just because of the, the way they play the game. Also, we, we did watch it yesterday. Yeah, we've seen it recently, so we yeah. have some to go off of. For the side of Froyotech, I think... I kind of lean towards Cozy. Yeah, I, I, I'm kind of leaning towards them, too. There's something that I... I don't think Banyan and Habib can have that exact same high impact they had on Sunshine compared exactly. to Gully. Like... The Gully Wash was at least 50%, like, Frotex victory. Gully Wash was 50% Banny out of the six players. Yeah, I don't think the rest was he, a beep. I don't think he can repeat that on Sunshine. He feel free to prove me wrong, but it's way yeah, harder. It is. So someone someone else has to take up the mantle. I think Ed has to go crazy or something. Yeah, I, I, don't know. yeah Ed, like, I think the Freo flank has to do very well. And they didn't do well that well on Metalworks, but, you know... Habib's gonna also have to pop up, but Habib kind of always pops off, so that's, you know, that, that, that's, a, that's a given. Yeah, but it's also not tiny little doorways. Yeah, that's so, true. So you can only do so much. Isn't it is Sunshine be... also a good Habib map? Uh, I don't remember. I mean, all maps are, but like Sunshine in particular. Mm. All I know is, uh, Gully Watch is easy to remember because every invite player has at least one PTSD moment of playing against CBU on Gully Watch. <laughs> the other maps are, are kind of like, you know, you, you, it's easy to forget, uh, yeah. especially after so long. He <laughs> just always does something. Yeah, but uh, I think it. I think it still will be a close one. But uh, 
I feel like for predictions, I, I lean back towards Cozy's direction. It just seems like one of those days where, like, there's something strange in the air, and, uh, Frantech, they haven't, like, they've shown they can win, but they haven't looked dominant, really, at any point. For it's always been worth, close affairs. Yeah, they... Frotech won, I feel like they failed to control the sniper. Yeah. E even on the map, they won. And yeah. now it's going to get even harder. It is. Uh, I will say it is going to be a... 3 to, to 1. 3 to 1 two. for Cozy. I'll, actually, I'll, I'll say a 3-2. I, I think it's going to be slower. I, especially because it is map three, so teams are going to be, you know, like this one's for all the marbles, or maybe not all the marbles, but it's for upper bracket seating, which both teams said they do really, really want. So, right. big match. I, yeah, I, I think that it's definitely going to be, I just, I don't know, so Cozy just has that, like, it factor right now. Like, Brotech kinda... had a solo carry performance, but we saw before, like, Yesterday, Quax was having a solo carry performance against Freya Tech, and that wasn't an, uh, and not against Freya, against Cozy, and that wasn't enough to win. So even if Danny does pop off, I don't know if they, you know, Cozy really had to deal with like, you know, the, the Super Saiyan soldier. Yeah, I feel like one thing that, to put it in a generic term, I feel like it's uh, as a spectator for predicting. I feel like it kind of makes sense to lean towards, like, or it. It's easier to lean towards a team that it's very visible when they have a variety of players that are able to like salvage and put the team on their back for like a point or two, if not even a round, right? And yeah. so far, I think from what we've seen of Cozy, it's not as fair because we've seen we've seen much more of Cozy than of Freya Tech. We didn't cast any of their games yesterday. But even yeah. if you only look at the two maps that have been traded back and forth, I feel like we've seen way more like, oh, someone on Cozy just like salvage for their team and led them to victory more variety and the amount of players that do that rather than or compared to Freya Tech. I think Freya Tech was mostly like Banny and Habib and then everyone else just doing their job and contributing while Cozy was like Catface had moment, Kev's had moment, Trip yeah, had moments. more of a team effort. Right and I feel like that variety is difficult to, to go through a lot of the time. Yeah because it's not like you have to deal, like, shut down one player, you have to shut down you everyone. You shoot the one player and you win, right. So like you, you can only put so many resources in towards that one player because then you're kind of keeping another one unchecked and that other players like that they kind of need to get checked to as well, right? So it's difficult. Yeah. But I think Freya Tech can still have it in them because even though we've seen the, the map trades, this is their map pick. Sometimes you can be really good overall at a map, but one thing screws you over. Maybe, you know, it's mids. Maybe and it's last push. Frantic did get to watch them play this map yesterday, so I'm sure they, they know what they want the GC want not GC, uh Cozy wants to do. Yeah, I think they finished their I don't remember if they finished their match quick enough I think I always to the see VOD. the sunshine, but the VOD's there, yeah. So I'm sure I'm know, sure Manny's a diligent man. I'm sure he did his research. Yeah, Cozy's kind of showed their hand on Sunshine already publicly, and they already have personal experience through the other two maps we played so far. So let's see who's going to find themselves in Grand Finals with the one map advantage. We are live in the third map of this BO3 between Freya Tech and Cozy Black. Loser will play on, uh, later tonight against, uh, I don't remember what team. I don't think it's actually set in stone yet, but mid underway. Soldier's going fast, not committing though. Domen need an air and will receive it, so a bit of a slower type of bid trying to play off damage. Most of it, I think, going towards May, at least for now, but is fine for the time being. Bomb's gonna bomb in, in. Trying to commit on to May. Rocket's not quite hitting the mark. And it's flanking from behind. They put all their eggs into one basket on to May, and they just missed. Trip also got chased around the whole trip. <laughs> He's gonna drive a crater? He does. 19 oh, HP isn't God. enough. Trip just did the loop de loop. There's a scout chasing him the whole time, and he just he picked up the, the cafe pack, he picked up the second pack, jumped over them and there's heads, and he lived! Insane mid from Trip just doing the loop de loop and getting the meta at the end. That was just an execution error. They went towards May and they missed their shots. Like they were on him, on him, and I did not see his health drop nearly as much as it should have. I mean, May just got the jukes, you know, got got, got the footsies. Yep. Got the mix ups. So. They uh, got full Uber out off that man, keeping May alive, and Freya Tech are on their last at the beginning of this game. Got the sniper, got the NG. Guns on the box on the right side of the map. They're going gonna bomb lower, though. Really gonna see it. They can't kill the engineer, but nice shot from Gungan. Take Cat Face out of the equation, so they're down one for the post. Habib's getting no nuked and Habib's dead. No, he's not dead. He surfs to straight up, but oh my God. Jingo gets a 2 I was about to say that, like, man, like, they lost the person right off the bat. They didn't get any cap time. This is really bad for Cozy. And then I as saw soon as I was Habib about got, to like, speak, launched in a corner. It was over. Right. 
And then he and then he reset as well, I think, or, or like he was didn't die immediately after that. But still, it didn't matter because all it the took Brutus. was one second, and then three people were dead. So they clutched the last Bingo second despite a, a bad start. There. Yeah, that bad start, salvaged it, and Cozy put themselves on the board as soon as the match begins, and we're on to our second mid. We are in our second mid, and that was a quick one. And Freytech electing to go the valley this time, so gonna mix it up a little bit, go a different mid as Trip holding down uh, his own cafe, and they're just gonna elect to go for spam right now. Nothing too crazy. He's actually, Kev's gonna go in and do something crazy. He's gonna get onto Habib, and Dingo's gonna die. Habib gets an air shot onto Kev. Hubba is on top of the fence. It's looking kind of tough, not great. Oh, Hubba's gonna, gonna get the pack, so. Down three. Trips not in, trips good. in. On Hubba gets him. He gets him. At the last second, he did a loop de loop once again, and they didn't even spot it, I don't think. So, May out they of lived. Dodge with 66%. Saw that that was gonna be bad from the get go and got out of there. So really good salvage from Trip at the tail end to make sure Hubbada did indeed die. But Freytech, their beginning was way better. They they went on to targets. They did way more damage. The start wasn't that bad. Just the tail end of losing Hubbada. It's gonna be a thorn there. But that's go. gonna that's gonna help a lot. That's a and nice. And Kev might get. be dead too. If the, Kev doesn't get banned. Oh no, Kev. Uh, he almost took Banny with him, but almost not did. quite enough uh, no fall damage there. So they have Uberad from the side of Cozy, but down two explosive classes. It's gonna chew up a lot of time. It is, and, and they it's might not even... that huge. They might even it's, it's huge, but like they're not gonna get it that quickly. First X, gonna go in. He's bombing onto May. Does May know May hits a the really surf? nice surf and is gonna die. Gungan also gonna snipe by cat face means that for attack basically through that. Uh, so they're actually gonna push probably then. I would, I would. Just, they might get just a second for free. They oh, still cafe? have massive Uber head. Wide swing, doesn't hit the shot. Still a threat though. Gotta be careful. Yeah, Benny's uh. <laughs> they can't peek to actually spam this properly, like effect. Benny's kind of caught in prison here. Benny's. If they uh, want to do anything, they have to. Ban yeah. If they wanted to do anything, they had to jump cat face, and that was they weren't willing to do that. Be a little aggressive. He's fine though. The ad is evened out, so they're they reclaim the second. They have a defensive sniper looking towards the valley side as Frotech begins to eye cafe just a tad. Getting pressured a lot. There's four people by Cafe. Trip's kind of there. He's putting Trip. some damage in. Yeah, nice rocket. A lot there. of damage in. Oh my god. All the, yeah, one, all the that one rocket combat like classes. 200. They're just on top of each other in, do in the doorway, kind of. They yeah. all ate it. Farming oh. that DPM. Yeah, Trip showing his power once again. You know, he, he took goalie to just, you know, he had to charge back up again. You know, had to get his power level higher. But hopefully we'll see what he can do as. Oh, Speedy, thinks, Speedy thinks Gungan's on spy. He's asking where he is. <laughs> they really think Gungan's on spy. They're like typing into two of them in chat. Where are you? That face is on sniper dying to spam. Yeah. They're wrong though. There is no spy. They'll see. Yeah. They'll see two scouts eventually and figure it out. Cat <laughs> face. Oh my goodness. Okay. Cat really nice face is back. locked in. Cat face yeah. is just gonna peek choke. He's prepared. Ed really weak. He's trying to cover Valley. He can't afford a Kevly slow up trip. Sacking in. The rockets aren't quite hitting to the last one, but he's already dead. Hubbada is fine. 70 HP. Pack is available inside Cafe. Cafe's really weak. Is going to be fine as well. They do have a pick to work with, kind of, but they have one rolling out as well, so they can only pressure so hard from Froyo Tech. Bomb comes in for Kev. Full oh, committing. it's a nuke. Gets a beef. Really good trade there. And a nice shot Ed. from Cafe. Takes Ed as well. He wanted to go behind, I think, but Sax on the way behind. Nice shot into Sax. Oh my god. No one really check his PC. <laughs> what the actual? Cafe is locked in. It's His sniper is popping off. Frytex even taking aggressive Uber, look at this. Cafe. Wait, Hubbada gets forced. Oh, this is so well, disjointed. This, they didn't want to use right then. They dropped Banny as well. At least they get a trade, but... Oh, They're going to kill they, everyone, actually. This Uber is getting way more kills than they expected. Well, it's just May. May, didn't May use. They dropped everyone. It's just May, Trip. Yeah, May really didn't want to use it. So this Uber is actually better than they expected. They really got to buy time for the respawners if they want to be They're able to coming choking. Uh-oh. Here yeah, comes the Uber. It's a double soldier out. Uber. No hits Habib's going to die. Okay, they get two. That's not bad. And they, okay, know they have to deal with the back cap, but there's, they might get pinched here, the Freya players, because there's people yeah. coming from both sides and two soldiers. May. They got onto May. Fearless right now. He will eventually die, though. Maybe he got a little bit too aggressive. Kedra tried to go for a solo play on the Hubbada, I think. will end up finding his death from Banny inside mid, but Speedy hiding. Unseen. Is going to be seen now, probably, and trying yeah, to escape. Got seen. But Get back up. Trip also going for plays. They're just constantly, they're just constantly fighting. It's the chaos theory. So like yeah. this is like Froyo Tech has been in the driver's seat and leading for the most part, but despite all these like one fights kind of, it's the same story have, as Metalworks. They haven't actually got any ground from it. They're still at mid, They're bombing in, trying to make space. The respawners are here soon. They don't have Uber quite yet. Good. Sting Dingo gets a beat. Kills him. Dingo's Dingo so her base alive. saves him, but the Dingo time. Huge from mid. They're dropping like flies. Vanny, 5 HP. Sax is dead. They have three left. How about 85%? They need to get this Uber. 
Yeah, that the Uber needs to be the thing that saves them. They could take a 3v5 Uber here if they're feeling ballsy. If the red team gets close enough, they're gonna try to cap this. And yeah, they're they're showing face. They know that Habib is rolling out. He'd be there for the post even if he's not on the Uber. Cap uh, it's time. Getting kind of Maze aggressive. Have to use. He got hurt too. They're just gonna use. But the launch. Oh, Maze kind of caught. Oh, no. Banish is on top of Cap. He's dead and head and dies. And they gets didn't get any kills. Ed is still committing. Can he get me? He gets me. Huge from Ed. Oh my God. That's so. I don't, I don't even know what words to describe what's happening right now in this server. Ed just what full I just saw from he had to hit that shot or else it was a disaster for Frodo. Yeah. Kev's going to get landed on, trying to escape, barely able to get out of there as Cozy is not very healthy right now. Frodo Tech gets a little bit of a Pyrrhic victory. But they are, they do have the medic alive. Oh, Daniel's just dead. Oh, did he jump? He didn't get, no, he did get fall damage. They're just sacking, but uh, it's not really going to lead to too much. But honestly, they have their team except Ed. They're going to poke and prod early and get this gun down, I think. So there's no sniper to defend it. They reset yeah, the time. They're gonna spam. They get Habib they, oh, though. Habib huge, a little though. aggressive. But oh, he's Sax is committing. Gonna try to go for that hurt soldier. Unable to do it, but also unable to die. So just gonna back up in a, a nice attempt, not resulting in anything. Is for attack they do have, you know, like I guess baby Uber at. And that's good enough to push. You got your team with you, but Habib's not there though, so they're probably not gonna use it. Oh, my stream is delayed. Okay, that's why. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I mean, uh, they could. Uh, no, they, they probably don't use them. Yeah. They, they, they look like they're thinking about it, but not. And yeah, they just want to get the gun. Yeah, they they counted the Ubers well enough to know it was too small. And he's staring at the pyro. Yeah, speed, <laughs> and he's getting fearless right now. Mine is getting close to road. Just trying to buy some time. The scorch shots there. Screwing up there. See, the nice thing about the scorch shot actually clears sticky. So Beam's getting bullied by the pyro a little bit. Yeah. I, I'm worried if I Sabib because if you get that one scorch shot, you just like can't move your character because the weapon's really dumb. Yeah, it's times like these where you run the Dar Darwin stand your shield on sniper. Yeah, well, unfortunately, it's funny because that is banned in Highlander and so is the scorch shot, so it kind of balances it. Two man soldiers on to not May. They lose Habib, they lose that. This is a four man, okay. They got nothing. Oh and my they god. They got nothing. And is, let's see if this cafe is leaving on Engineer. That's the third foreman, yes, and that's that's the third foreman that gets nothing. Yep, Catface has the base cannon. They they are zero for three, right now in their foremans. Yeah, that's tough. Uh, I don't know if it's a focus fire issue or what it is. Catface is billing his teleporter now. One second. The, just Catface things. I mean, he has like a ton of revenge crits. He has like four, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's understandable. Yeah. Honestly, the. Catface is the, look where he's standing. He's ready. He's waiting the, to turn this the corner. The exit's the exit's weird. But maybe that's a good thing, I guess, kind of? Yeah, no one's really going to look for it there. They're going to see the sentry and spam it, and they're going to hurt him. They're, I might just kill him. Got to be careful. Probably needs to be in a safer spot if he wants to actually use his revenge crits. So it's giving Froyo things to do, you know? They have to spam the sentry before they can do anything, which is better than anything else Froyo could be doing. Yeah. They get a little mental stimulation and the, the stalemate. Exactly. Yeah. Well, it's also, T like, it's I'd, rather, like, I'd rather them shoot, like, the sentry in second than, like, a player, you know what I mean? Because you could just kill, bring the sentry back. It's much better than, like, anything. Like, it's probably, like, the least productive thing Freya could do, but they have to do it. Agree or disagree that killing level ones over and over again is just, like, the TF2's version of a fidget spinner that just, like, keeps you It kind of is, yeah. It, it's, uh, you have to kill the NG or else it's just, like, Sisyphus pushing the boulder up the hill, you know? Like, it's just going to come back. Yeah, they get they get behind though with both Ed and Sack. They're not the healthiest, but they're there. They're fighting Trip. Trip takes one out. It's a pack available for Ed. He gets the kill onto him. Overall, Trey Speedy's there. Oh my God, Ed got Trip and okay, Speedy. Ed. Hello, four HP in a dream. Still poking and prodding. Able to get the pack. Still a thorn on their side. This is really good for Froyo, but there's a gun. Yeah, one the gun kind of prevents things. Catface uses one of his like four. I think he has four. So he, he has three left, and Catface is going, going in. in. Look at him. He's going in. He's out for blood right it's now. He beat. finds the demo. Oh, he misses, oh, misses oh, he but he gets the force. Well, so good okay. They could actually use this Uber to block. They have a player ad here. It's a 3v4. Actually, it's a 4v4. Screw it, yeah. It's a 4v4, but they're locking down the doors pretty well. Trips Although, in. Gun getting. Uh... He's in early, though. He's alive. The Uber comes out. They're trying to chase them. Dingo in deep. A oh, trip. Oh. Nice rocket from Trip onto Gun Gun. That's going to get Gun Gun killed. They're escaping through choke. I mean, they get the one frag. Banny found his way behind, so. They're gonna Bandy's gonna threaten the back cap and look at the point time. That's definitely gonna like complicate things. Yeah, Bandy's oh, gonna out. get out. So, but if I'm cozy, you have to worry about second because of the point time. I feel like you have to chill for the. No, you have dis that anyway. You don't. No, have you have dis that, but just like you can't let Froyo just like take a bunch of space or we'll just instantly cap. Yeah, you do have to play kind of passive-ish though because they could just demo bomb and they're they're actually pushing early. They don't want to use a small ad as an act just busting through a door. They want to see if they can milk their way through. Trip 
it gets found out inside the valley, taken down in a 2v1 scenario. They lose Habib, though, so no Dylan Bomb if they decide they want to use the Uber, but a scout might be enough. Banny bombing in, barely going to die. Chasing in Is the he? Lobby. Dingo really weak. They tanked him a bit. The Uber's finally over, but May really weak. Running around in circles, does indeed die. It's only two oh, left alive from the side of Cozy, and Kev's nowhere to be seen trying to catch up, but uh, gets some rockets on the gun again. Is un oh, he does get him, <laughs> but <laughs> okay, next direct, but though. just a consolation prize at the end of the day. Freytek have had to fight extremely hard to take any ground in this match, but slowly but surely they are getting it done. They are, but themselves. Cozy is going to have the opportunity for a last hold. So Freytek yeah. still got one more hill to climb before they even things out. Yeah, this isn't a completely done deal, especially on this map. Got to build it up. They'll have time to build up their sentry gun. They got the sniper defending it behind. Where is Catface? I'm trying to. He's on sniper, running back to spawn. Okay, no, he he is behind the gun. Okay. Bingo's building with the uh, with the sword, which I, I do like the katana building. It's smart. Going in with the Uber. They want the NG. They get him. They get speed speedy. Dead. Just kind of ignoring the gun. It was built up kind of late. Just killed him while in its building phase. Nice pipe on a cat face. Almost died to a roller as well. It's gonna be really hard for Cozy to defend. Cap yeah, already The Bane's gonna be big on Dingo, but gonna get uh, Bane got an Uber saw Bane and got Uber, and now Habib's dead. That's pretty clutch, but it's still player to sad. It's still player to sad, but they are pushing into the Uber, and He's Trip up. is saucing on Ed. Oh, that's Speedy's up in two. 3v3, coming from the side. Damage Here on comes the Speedy. Shoulder. Speedy's got Speedy's got to hit his shots. The, the head, the head. Get the sauce. Wait, the Uber sauce, Uber sauce. Wait, no. What? Wait. All right, no. medic, for medic. Screw it. Yeah, I, I guess it worked. Honestly, clutch for me though, getting that saw. Yeah, That's clutch for me getting that saw. That salvage things. You know why? What, what happened? Banny bombed Dago just like kind of beefed, so he had to look at Dago, and which means they just walked up and got the swing in. Yeah, that happened at mid as well once. Uh, also, I respect May for going for the medic v medic battle, even though it's like objectively worse that May died because uh, May already got a saw. You know, like a little too greedy, greedy, but it worked. Greedy for a bigger ad, like he thought. Like, yeah, yeah. As long as they I already got one, one swing saw, in, but you know that the head literally swings faster. So I don't even think he landed any, to be honest. Nah, he got one, I think. He got one. Oh, okay. yeah. Because he because he got like headed, then he he swung his melee, and then the head came back because it's faster, and <laughs> that's how right. many. Got to have a little finesse there with that melee against. Well, the that's that's swing why speed, the swing but... speed's important. Yeah. Yeah. They, they say Uber has no downside. Look at that. Add for Froyo though. It's only thirty. They're gonna use it. Ingo they might get the might super be in time if they it's gotta too be careful, slow. but. They actually yeah. just all went through the door at the same time. Banny gonna try to block the point. Hev gonna trade out, but they gotta be careful. They're gonna get speedy. They're, there's a lot of kills to be had and a lot of damage, but they have to actually get them. Dingo gonna kill Gungan, might put a, a little bit of a strain on things. As Sax gonna commit, gonna oh. die, and that's another fail. That's push for Fire Attack. It missed his last rocket there, so unable to trade that out. So it's 4v4 with Cozy having Uberad here, trying to get their way out of last. Just mind the trap, they're clearing it. Pipes are there. Kind of aggressive still. They don't want to be oh, too fearful. Oh, May. May by Crater. Oh, yeah, Almost you. landed on a sticky trap. Does indeed use, though. Everyone's red HP on the side Ed of the okay, they, they, they finally get Ed, but their, their health is so bad. I think Freyo knows because of how much damage they did in this Uber. They don't have Uber themselves, and they're still... Like, look at Habib. He still yeah. really wants to spam this, but uh, will eventually back up. They didn't lose Ed after all, so it's not yeah. that and crazy of an advantage. But yeah, just play off the, the, the like more 40%. simple... The more simple, like... Uh, like big advantage to gain from just the the Uber. They're just they're trying to are they trying to drive? What's happening? They're trying to take it slow, find some space. Oh no, they jumping around. Drive, yeah. yeah, trips on the point a bit weak. Can't jump the valley because there's two players there. Dingo will die at the shutter. Didn't get out in time. Nowhere near May. They just leave one to keep going. But there's it's a 10% add now. Yeah, it's not enough. Frantic might try to Uber change or carefully. something. We'll see. There is a Pudis. They just corralled themselves. All right, they they didn't get. Okay, they didn't get pushed too Sax far is in. away. The Sax is gonna die. Sax is gonna waddle out, but uh. They're sacking. Okay, Ed, yeah, they're, Ed's gonna sack, but there's a Pudis on the field, and uh, that's <laughs> nice 2K for Speedy there. Good thing they didn't try to go for like they knew that uh, it wasn't gonna be an Uber out anymore. But uh, overall, the two man does not really lead to anything. As trips in dungeon, he's getting damaged a lot. He already can't counter sack. Just has to run away, find a pack somewhere or something. So. There'll be no counter sack from the side of Cozy. Back to last they go. Got the engineer building up a gun now from the side of Speedy. As uh, we'll see how Freytech try to break this. Yeah, we'll see how they want to break this. Catface is on Sniper, Speedy and Engineer. So no scouts in the field, but we do have the, you know, two of the traditional last off headshot matches. Habib eats a headshot, but Demo has more than 150 HP, so Habib's going to live up. He's going to live to think another day. As uh, Habib's putting up the anti-soldier stickies. I guess he's, uh, that's a good trap. He usually gets people. And on to Kev, who was Ed indoors. Ed gets kind of nuked, but one, that one rocket also hit all three Freytech players. And Trip! Oh, the, 
the collision. Now, trip. now he's going, but the trap, the trap worked out at the end. Yep, overall just a one for one. Playing dangerously in the doorways. Oh, Cafe went for a hero shot. Uh, so he gets dying. two picks, and they'll. Be so nice. <laughs> he got pushed forward by a, a Dingo Stickies, I think. <laughs> okay. Or one of the pipes, you know, or something. You, you live with the the high highs and the and sometimes Habib does have a dirt moment or two. But they do have player out here. There's less people watching the door, so they're still trying to go for the spam. But Danny will give up his life for it. So these demos are farming, and Kev is on spy. He's committed. He's not checking. He's tired of this, so he's gonna go through dungeon. It looks like we'll yep. see what he's able to. Uh, to cook up for his team. Be Someone just called Spy. I don't know if that was just. Uh, I don't think they know. He's not like actually. Uh, yeah, I don't. Oh no, they Maybe. know. They know somehow. Hmm. I didn't Somebody think knows there's Spy. Maybe any checked. I wasn't paying attention. I don't think they checked. I think they just sniffed him somehow. Either way, the paranoia is up. That's the important yeah, look, thing. Look. Yeah, Hubbard is constantly turning around. But yeah, this is a tough situation for Kev. Honestly, if they look paranoid enough, I might just either. Either pistol the meta or go for last, but the stab will not work unless they're really bad. Find a way to go back through. Ken's going for it. He's defloking, going in. Wasn't heard. Fanny sees him. Called no. It. Wait, they got two. They get. They okay. And the somehow Ken lived. Lived. He got out. <laughs> Ken Thirty-one HP. So what? the two man does not work. Kev lives on spy. Someone's guess... been. Oh, okay. That's a huge play from Banny though. Banny's gonna trade out for Dingo, which means your demo down's gonna make this a little tough. And Habib's putting up a, a silly stairs trap. Yeah, no, no push out, no counters. Honestly, I suppose that the timing of the decloak was right when they were like trying to do a two man or something. So it turned some heads and made the two man worse. But uh, they get the gun. Pipip does it pretty much by himself as his team is on the other half of the map. Uh, the gun's getting be rebuilt up again. Assassin's is taking some space. May drop to 50 HP. Is opting not to reset them. quite yet. Still holding down the fort. Tripped out to 18 HP. Will indeed die. Overall trade though with Sack. So one for one. As Froyo is retreating back to lobby is actually. The Kind of going towards a different doorway. Gungan is just trying to front walk in. Banny might go for an off angle. Gungan is in. getting bullied. The headshot, but the drop. Both medics drop at the same time. One from a headshot and yeah, one from a bomb from drop. Banny. Red medics drop. Okay. Yeah, Speedy farms a couple kills here on 42 HP, but at the end of the day, I mean, player advantage for Cozy, but it looks like they just want to go for a round reset, and they don't want to. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I don't blame them. Like, both medics die. No reason to risk it when you just have another mid. And plus, they're winning anyway. And Banny's on spot. Ooh, the Banny spy. And he's committing. He's on the big earner. He's expecting big gains here. Big There's... plays from Banny. 20 seconds left. He has no uh, hats. Red's on crits. Red's on crits. Banny. Oh, that's. They don't have time to build over. They that probably. Makes sense. Yeah, they probably. Assume okay, I, I'm watching the Banny spy. This is a rare and exotic. He's going to sap the gun. He's not Habib's even just dead, though. The time it offered. He's going to decloak and maybe sap the heavy. I know they know the gun will sap, though. They know the gun is sap. <laughs> <laughs> Stalemate. <laughs> they got the kill on Baby Spy. Honestly, if that timing was a bit better where the gun sap happened earlier and Habib didn't die Well, the, the thing gun... is they knew that Baby Spy once he sapped the gun, so, like, when Baby decloaked, he just, like, the heavy was staring at him as he decloaked, and it did not go well. Yeah. But, I mean, honestly, drawing just, like, off kills or like that is so coin flipping anyway that that's not a situation that Freya Tech wins, like, most yeah. of the time. So, you know, back to mid we go for our third I think Baby was on a public out there. He had no Where? hats on, no... no. Well, no hot's on us, so they can't check you, you know, that's the comp. Oh, that's true, that's true. But, yeah, uh, on the, he's on the bigger room. Oh, they traded that. sides. Whoever loses is wipes. They are on the other oh, okay. side of the Bandy map. Oh, got Bandy's actually, dead. like, he, he, he got, I think he got Goomba, he got Alu. Many things are happening, but Freo is, oh, Freo Freo is not having a tough time. They're kind yeah, of Freo. Oh, no, they barely escaped a cafe. May, May, they on May. May's gonna die. Sacks with the clutch, but there is now, the horde is coming for Hubba. they got out for now. Hubbada surfs it, he's oh, out, but he's the scout sink. speed. Banny's respawned though, he's able to protect Banny's him. Respawned, nice yeah. arrow as well. They snake their way out of that, just barely. Nice salvage from Sax, a really good job from Hubbada to find the opportune moment, the timing to actually like make sure that when he starts walking towards Cafe, that uh, he's not gonna get chased down and is okay. able to escape. There's but two trade, for one, two for one. Yeah. good for Freya. Trip and Kev means there's no soldiers, no bombs to worry about other than Di uh, Dingo, so they're gonna just chill back up, see what happens says. Uh, I feel like Cozy, this is turning into, like, a very quickly, this could be a 2-1 if we're not careful. Or a 2-0, even. Kev on Sniper. He's not in position oh, yet. Oh, the, the lock of the pipes hit someone, so that's going to delay them a bit. Yeah, and that buys time for Kev to actually get into position. Ban Banny spotted him, I think, although apparently not. Okay. And Gungan's not here. They have one less player to control the Sniper. There you go, there goes. Habib. Goodbye, Habib. Now they have four, they still have five people here. Gungan's here now. Under the point. Oh, I don't think May expected this. He's just dead. Oh, but they... the... <laughs> 
This could be a good post. Of, oh, no, they're they just were, getting all no, the kills. Trip's so gonna go in for the post. Trip's bombing it from Valley. See what Trip can get. Probably not. Oh, Trip's going behind, weak. actually. Interesting. He, yeah, he's way too weak. He tried to Wait, block the back half. Oh, that's what yeah. happened. They were way too overzealous trying to stay forward when they lost the sight of them. He's on fire on Getting spawn hit by cat face. <laughs> Man, free oh, second Freud I'm really watching Khabib. See, let's see if Khabib can make it out of spawn without dying to cat face. He's working his way. He doesn't have an escort quite yet, but uh, yeah, he's found his, his way to his team. I just, I, I saw Khabib, I heard like a pyro voice line and I saw Khabib on pyro and I knew something was horribly wrong. Freud have an opportunity to tie this up, depending on this they last do. push code. Cat face oh. is still behind. Ed is like kind of poking him, but cat face could actually just try to go for a back cap here. Uh, yeah, that, no, that's what he's doing. Yeah. He's gonna commit for it. They have to cap this, or this is yeah. They're going back. Sax is, oh, going, Sax back is going back. Oh, Sax is going back. But that He's means Cafe's at least. That means Cafe's can just flank on the last. Look at this. Yeah, my fine Ed, depending. He's gunning towards them. The heavy's on the field. Gunning, he's gonna die. They're up on the high ground at least, and they can kind of escape. Sax home. Cafe gets a kill. Dingo, he will indeed get the kill, but overall not quite enough to actually secure it. They just get the one frag and uh, Freya Tech don't quite get the round conversion. Vanny's, so cozy. Vanny's going for something. He's oh, actually he fighting spotted. Trip. He's going for last. Oh, look at the point type. There's, There's a heavy, a though. Heavy. There's a heavy. Vanny's dying to Speedy Heavy like three times now. Just Speedy like, Heavy has spawned so many kills. At the, manually, manually open up a log at the end of this game and check uh, Speedy's heavy stat in particular. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's going to look very pretty. gets on Sniper, but in the meantime, uh, many players have just died to the soldiers of Cozy. And Speedy's still on, uh, not Speedy, Gungan still on Sniper. Gonna back up. Actually, gonna switch off the sniper. Off. Yeah. Yeah. So full out here, reclaiming mid. They can't block the uh, the KJ quad spawn, but uh, they have an opportunity to push into two. See the pace at which they take it. They're all near to choke. I just be a bomb straight through. Yep. Ubering straight through into the skybox. They're gonna find maybe Banny. Yeah, through dungeon. Sax is behind. They actually don't know that he's behind. He's worked his way around to his own cafe, and they're none the wiser. So we'll see how this works out. As he could just pinch them. I don't think Cozy's pushing forward in the last or anything like that. waiting for the pack, so yeah. He's just going to bide his time. He's going to ask his team where is Cozy leaving, and then I think this med pick is probably free, especially Ed's with the gonna Kev going to die to stickies, yeah. Okay. Especially Zax with the is just Dev. chilling on mid. I think he's going to spawn camp Kev. I don't know what he's, the, what he's no, expecting. The world is... No, he's just going to kill Mei. He's going to sandwich okay. him. The world is his oyster. He's just buying his time. Just wait for the Uber. <laughs> here comes the Uber, and here he comes. They're leaving Valley. Yeah, he, the the four soldier. That was... Okay, oh, that worked perfectly. Though. Okay, no, it is going to get defended by Band. No, it's not going to get defended. Okay, oh. we Okay, we got the sax clip. We saw his patience, but there was something else happening on the map at the something same time. Something horrible just happened. Something worse, because that's a that's an extra layer to it. That was yeah, a two. Sax, that was a two view on a last. Sax got a good play, but you also don't have a roamer watching the flank to defend last. So yeah. that makes that play from Cozy even easier. We probably should have mentioned Zach's that. Sax did a taunt too. <laughs> yeah, maybe a, a bit. Uh, I mean, honestly, Sax there, got but... his man. Manny he just didn't get his man. Manny didn't, didn't get his man. I didn't lose my team lost, all right? Exactly. Manny's May almost dead for the mid again. He can't heal anyone efficiently, so even if he just like hides in the choke, they're just going to lose this mid. Dingo's dropped to, dropped to 9 HP. Dingo got Pumata? both. Huge, the first huge death from of all May and Dingo. And May is back to 100 HP. How does that? I don't they know. They're just like not, they're not cleaning up their kills. They took May out of the fight. No one was healed. Sax bombed in and dropped Dingo to 9 HP. What are the scouts shooting at? I guess Kev, but Kev still kills Hubbada? Cozy is locked in right now, and Freud attacks, they're all over the place. They are all over the place. It feels like there's, you know, like Dingo, May was out of the fight, Dingo was like 5 HP, and they couldn't kill either of them. Like, they just shot different targets. It's, they're going to try to repush into mid here, but it's going to be a little tough as their high ground is getting spammed, and they're taking their time. Freud is doing a good job spamming him out, but they're, yeah, they're they are going to have to use to get in, but they, they might almost... get some cleanup kills here. Banny is behind. They almost Goomba to Beeb there, not quite. Yeah, Banny's behind. They have two chasing back. Banny will call this so they'll dry in the mid. May's kind of aggressive, but the rockets aren't quite connected. They kill Banny, so the reinforcements will come in in a couple moments. But I guess they Zach's too. And Kev's in, Kev's in on Hubbada. He can't get Hubbada. It's going to get instead. Going to get Mr. President's Hubbada, but Hubbada's oh, so man. hurt and they just have to back up through 3v5. Honestly, the call, not bad. That's what you're supposed to do. Execution? Uh, I mean, you have a player out on mid and you'd lose a player. There, there. Something, something's off about the coordination for Freya Tech right now. Like their focus fire, or like the timing of when a certain player is supposed to go in, is like not there. Because you go, you go in five before you're not stuck to the door, and you're the first person to drop a player. That's there's something wrong there. They yeah. haven't had to work. It's twenty. 
I, 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 it looks like they're still going for like, much larger than it actually is. They're, I think they're miscounting a bit. Is they killed Dingo, but now they're really deep. Cat face is behind. They sent two players back oh, to okay. chase Cat face, and Dingo's dead. All right, they played that on a knife's edge, and it works out. They get the two frags with the Uber. That in a different world, that could have been really, really spooky for them, but it works yeah. out. They get the, they get the mid, which they definitely very much need. But it is a leapfrog situation, so they're gonna once Cat face and Dingo come back, they got all the time in the world to come back and try to get this uh, leapfrog. Cafe is on. Oh, they might add. just turtle. Look, look at the time. There's three minutes left. They might just turtle. I mean, it's infinite overtime, though. Yeah, but look, there's not that much time left. Like, there's only three minutes left. Two, it's infinite overtime. They're up two rounds. I guess they just want to, like, they want to be able to win at three and not four. Yeah. That's also, the like, hard if they risk themselves. and lose the round, that's really bad. Whereas, especially because they're only up two. That's, uh, that's an interesting choice. We'll see if it pays off. I honestly, I, let, let him cook. We'll see what happens. Maybe they're just saying at this point, like, at our strength at this point is, like, our bat caps and sniper. And right now, pushing with add, like, isn't either of those. So. This is, like, back on the old config where you'd be up two rounds and it's like, I don't need to push. I'm up two rounds. I'll just turtle. Well, I mean, it is a little bit playing to your strength. If your it strength is. is, if your strength is chaos and sniper and, you know, pushing with add is neither of those. Then I mean, I mean, play your strengths, I guess. Yeah, Catface well, takes some damage. Cat, they got two behind. Trip's going in, but Trip unable to hit. Oh, that's Kev. Unable to hit any of the rockets, but Speedy cleans up both, so the two men does not work. Nothing accomplished, and they are gonna. Let's see if they walk forward now. They're spread yeah, thin. Cat, yeah, they're gonna beat Catface into the alley. They're spread very thin. Manny bombs in. They get the sniper out of the equation. Oh, they're gonna they're going just for the exchange. exchange. Yeah, they're trying to get this out of the way, and they do need to get drop. Oh, they don't drop Dingo. Huge this for me that flash. This post is so deep, though. This Froyo post is so deep. Where they're in no man's land. This post is too deep. Puppet is dead, and May is still alive. They're trying to see if they can clean up May, but they can't even find him. They have some people rolling out, but they're not there in time. That was like. Maybe, okay, you know, okay, maybe yes. their strategy is to just let Froyo make a mistake. Well, it's like Uber Exchange. Buy time for your Uber. Make sure the sniper can't shoot anything. You you got him out of the equation. But they chased into two away from your respawners. Why not? Saxon found a corner to hide in. And yeah, <laughs> get spotted instantly. Yeah, he's gone. But Froyotech punished heavily for that. Now May is just on his own side of the map, building his Uber up. They got a nice ad to work with. Curious if it's gonna be deja vu and they're just gonna go back and run sniper again. Honestly, I think I might. Well, they're kind of, they are kind of like hiding in a corner of valley. You see, you, see where you see where Dingo is? They're not showing early. They're, okay, now they're the going. soldier would be spotting. Yeah, they're just gonna pop straight through probably. Yep, there's the demo bomb. Trying to catch someone. Cafe and they are gonna get die. in. Sax gets out. Overall, one person. That's a leapfrog. Honestly, Cozy's fine with this. It's like we said. I think they probably thrive. It's, it's bleeding this. time, and that's you know the infinite overtime's gonna kick in soon. Now the chaos ensues as Froyotech starting to... They're showing what door they're pushing from through Valor. Yeah, it's sunshine. Well, it's sunshine. You can see what door they're coming from most of the time. Yeah, and Ed's still dead. So they're down a person. They're trying to go this a little yeah, bit early. Yeah, look at Catface. But... Catface is waiting to go for the back cap yeah, once look, they get in. Look, Trip and Catface's positioning is extremely deliberate. Yeah, like this is... Like, if, if Froyo sees this, they should know exactly what's happening. Here they go. They're going in Cafe, but... Oh, Sax. Sax did them. a really good job, but it doesn't matter. If there's a scout class and it's going to get sauce, but... That face gonna get cleaned up, so the two for one on the flank doesn't work. They end up getting one v two to themselves. So back to the second, and Cozy probably is fine with this. Really good job from Sax holding down the fort. The way yeah, that, that Cozy executed, good. the way that Cozy executed that was not that great. Well, Sax also hit like the pre-fire rock on a Kev, which kind of like yeah. You know, <laughs> once that hit, it was kind of over. Yeah, pretty much. Sometimes the pre-fire spam rockets, you just gotta hit them right. But we have not reached it in overtime, so. Cozy needs one more round, and they are upper bracket in Grand Finals. Yep, yeah, Froyotech need to climb a little bit for them to find the same fate. Sax is right above their team. Kev's gonna see him, he drops down, May, weak. Same with Dingo, this is Dingo not is that great so of hurt. It's Leapfrog, at least, but this yeah, is but not they, how Cozy wanted to Leapfrog isn't go. working out nearly as oh, well as last time. They're, they're in deep, they get May. May dies, Speedy dies, oh, it's a disaster. Going huge right now. They misjudged how long it was gonna take for Froyotech to actually get their Uber, and they are getting super punished for it. Four of them are still at mid, though. They might kill Banny and Ed <laughs> I mean, if they're careful about it, but no, no they're, they're not getting anything. Die. The only person dying. is Dingo, and yeah, it's just Trip now. Yeah, P's probably not oh, gonna trip? anything. Oh, Trip? Trip Legacy? Oh, the Surf, that's a huge... He got it! He gets it! They allow him to get that rocket off. Oh, my God. He got the pack, God. too. The pack was huge. Yeah, that is definitely a power play right there. But is it enough? A heavy on last. He's getting some damage. <laughs> Manny, this one, he dude, Manny is just actually getting some The respawners, though. The respawn. Blue has no beam. Blue has no beam. And just, just 
torpedoes into me and kills That's him. That's crazy. They needed that, especially because they weren't going to win that last push off the respawners. So he, he knew what his job there was, and he, he found his man. So they, that generates an ad for them long term, and Cozy have to stay on their last. I cannot get over how many times Banyu's died to Speedy on Heavy. It's like five times at this point. <laughs> I'm telling you, we have to look at Speedy's Heavy stats in particular Speedy manually through the logs. Stats, and the vast majority of them are on Banyu. I mean, if High Five's not playing the season, someone's got to take up the Heavy Mantle. Yeah, Speedy might true, be late true. to the party, but at least he was the life of it. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. As uh, Banyu gonna get a bow as Cozy's chilling on last. They, uh, I think they're, you know, as, as one would say, quite cozy with wherever they are. As for the next time they're doing too much of the way for the Uber, they're going to go in. Got Assuming we take this out, here they go. Bombing in. They get the gun really quickly. Teleporter down as well. They're crossing over. The heavy's on the field. Not beamed. Might just melt, and he does indeed. He's the first one to die. Happy's going to nuke too. This is looking like a good last push so far. Yeah, yeah this, this is, is a excellent for a last push. And to be the first round. Bay's trying to get a saw. May has 70%, but unable to get it. And that's going to be Freytech's first round. So Freytech have two rounds left to go to get the dub. Cozy's gonna hope they win this mid, because yeah, if they win this mid, that'd be, you know, they'd be in the driver's seat. They won the other one, the, the trade they sides they, one. They've won most of but... it so far, which I know I just cursed. Cause I, I'm sorry to all the Cozy fans for cursing them like that. You now, Freytech has had to climb their way back, but maybe they can, you know, got a trick up their sleeve and maybe can put one under wraps and have another quick round here. Sax going fast, Trip trying to throw him at least a little bit. Dingo's really weak. He's an arrow badly, we'll find it. Sax kid is getting us packed, so at the end of the day, there will be no quick kills here happening. As are they about to trade sides again? It looks like they're about to trade sides again. As Cap is nice going rocking behind. up the head by Kev, so. Yeah, they Kev's are getting kind of just lost the Oh, so Trip got bullied, he's dead. Sax is behind. They're on the wrong side. Oh, the this could be bad. The Cap is flank. He gets the one. Oh, Habib's getting bullied by Kev, though. And Habib him. eats three directs, and Habib isn't dead yet. And he's dead to a well. roller. Or maybe a pipe, I didn't see either way, but he's dead. The Sax only... gets speedy. Okay, this is a disaster for uh, Cozy. It was looking so good and it went so long. Just a little tweak here and there as uh, Dingo Killbine, so he's not that late of a death. Didn't want to be become a pet and trapped inside a cafe, <laughs> you know, tapping, just tapping on the glass, you know? Yeah. Uh, but uh, back to last, they go for the side of Cozy and Freytech. They're, they found their footing right now. You know, they still got some work to do. They got to get a last question away to be able to tie things up. But not a bad position to be in. Cozy got the gun. Got the pyro this time around, which I don't think we've seen as much on Sunshine. But if you can pick the right door, you can pay off in dividends. Actually, he's not even playing the door. He just wants to protect the gun. So a different defensive strat entirely is they're going under through dungeon straight into it. Right into the pyro. He's reflecting so they're gonna, right Oh, they got Cafe. So Cafe's dies. committed a little too hard. And, and Kev's going to die. And Kev's going to kill himself as well. This is so over. So two immediate picks for the side. Unless, unless Furtech has a massive fumble here. Where Speedy Heavy pops off, they get Gungan. Is Speedy no, Heavy going to pop off? Lose. Two kills is too strong for a last goal. The Hootis. The Hootis, no. All right, Honestly. Freya Tech instant two rounds, and suddenly it's match point. Whoever wins this round is upper bracket and in grand finals with a map advantage. Yeah, Speedy reflected so much on Pyro there, but I think Catface got a bit greedy and tried. I assume he tried to repair his gun, and yes. they just shot stickies behind the gun and caught him. So. That, that didn't pay off. And then Kev got caught as well. So at the end of the day, Freytech, whoever wins this round, assuming no round reset, gets to Grand Finals with one map add. This is a very, very close one here. Spole Sword is going fast, not really committing for the kill. Dingo needs an arrow badly. He doesn't get one. This is bad. Cozy lost this unless they heal up way quick. Their They're just out of so, the cafe. Their health is awful right now. But Hubbada? Hubbada isn't that hot either. He has to He's doing up. a high bomb and he him. lands. He Trips gets it. He gets Ed. Catface is dead. Hubbada's dead. Uh oh, it's turning into a disaster for Freya Tech as Habib and Gungan are going to try to stream forward and try to salvage this somehow. Habib is in, he's all to Bay, and he gets Bay! Habib with the clutch and salvage, but it's just Zach's left alive, and Habib even types in, oh my god, LMFAO in chat. It's Habib with the clutch, but it's not looking good for Freya Tech still, as Cozy's going to get mid it once they start coming. You, you can't even honestly blame Froyotech for not trying to press the issue earlier because it wasn't like they did an exceptional amount of damage. I think it was just missed arrows, like your teammates eating them. So like there was a long period of time where like hurt players weren't going to heal and it was kind of sketchy, but there's no way for Froyotech to really like notice that very easily. But a really good salvage to uh, to at least go in and find Mei when Hubbard died. And because Hubbard died first, they do technically have a small ad to work with, with the sniper being revealed. And uh, I think he took a shot onto Tetris and they've probably seen him at this point. Bandy's looking at the, the sign. I don't know if they're actually going to try to use this. They're poised like they want to, outside of I mean, if there's a sniper, you're going to have to use immediately anyway, so... Yeah, no one's spotting this early. 
like at Valley. Habib's looking like they they're gonna take this. Oh, yeah, bro, they, 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 got, they got spotted it too. It got spotted. They know. And Habib's Habib sticky. In. Oh, Look at Cafe's, this is not Cafe's caught. Cafe's caught. Cafe's caught. Dingo's caught too. Oh, but wait, hold on. This could be a disaster. Cafe's is caught. Dingo's, Dingo's dead. But this Uber, this Uber, they need to get kills. They get Habib. Who else can oh, they get? Ed? Can they, they get Ed's on the Hubba. Oh, Hubba is so hurt. Two behind though. Maze collapsed on. They kill him. There are two people still in mid. They weren't able to deal with it. Now Cozy only have three left alive, and Freytex still have heals. Speedy, I mean, oh, Speedy yeah, gets the rocket out yeah. to Speedy. Trip is behind. It's up to Trip. Trip needs to make a play here, he's and he's been spotted. In, round the corner. No, two scouts. Just Kev behind in Cafe. And uh, yeah, losing your demo there, not that great. Cafe's extremely he's gonna try to aggressive. Get the beep, I think. Uh, he, where is he going? He he's, was uh, not to they, they don't know. They don't what? know. They just don't know. What? They don't have the information. Hello? Okay, that's a dead Freytag medic. Now they have no beam trying to push this. Yeah, so but Freytag's still going for it anyway, and Rosie's staying in. They can, they can trade HP a little bit. Oh, they're, they're just not, backing they're, up the last, they're okay. Safe. okay. Yeah, they're afraid if they trade HP, someone's going to flank through an open door they can't watch, and they're just going to lose me. So they, they don't want to play so risky when it's uh, this close. Because if that didn't work out, like trying to poke him from Imagine, I person. hope it doesn't happen. Imagine if Cozy loses to a backhap or something like that. After all these flank plays, it's finally. It looks like it looks like Furtek not going for anything crazy. They're just going to back up. Danny is on spy. Oh, never mind. That's oh, the play of no. Danny. Oh, first. He's found. He's found. So unfortunate. Overall, a trade in players one for one. Beep kind of alone, so he can't only do so much to actually try to defend this. Is they've walked through for free. Maybe they can leave one and keep going. It isn't, it's, it's still close. a decent ad, but. No, they're, they're taking it kind of slow here. The bait is by over to... 2, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I mean, sometimes it doesn't hit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes, yeah, it just, it do be like that. But uh, they're, they're not playing risky here. We've seen so much Cafe aggression. Sniper. For... It seems like all of the aggression that Cozy has shown throughout this playoffs is like gone, except for Catface. It's like all condensed in, into <laughs> him. <laughs> I mean, because, he's the one who starts it usually. Because e even though he's on Sniper, which is like a defensive class, you look at his positioning sometime, and it's like he's going for the hero shots. Cause he's yeah, that yeah, he's playing he's like a Chad. Them. So, we'll see what Froyotech has in store for us, as they have most of the team by Cafe. A lot of the times they've gone for these go-behind plays, and they've not really worked. So it's unsurprising to see them try to do something at least a little bit different by bringing the brunt of their team and their heels over by the Cafe side, but Fanny making some space. Not really leading to too much. Maybe they just want to—they want to draw people over to allow sacks to bomb through choke. But they didn't really. No one really took the bait. So I gotta go ahead and rebuff outside and make sure he's a little healthy. Maybe he can go for try number two. Hubby but choke this time. Gets body shot. Gungan dies trying to make space. Sacks bombing in with the opening. Sees May into the door. He just drops. Oh. He found the time. He finds the timing and. Catface is going for a wide swing. Do they know? Play. They're, they're all kind of scattered. This could they're be. Mid. This. They're mid. They looped all the way around. Look at where, look at where Cat Face is looking. I'm just in awe. I'm speechless right now of what's happening. Kev is going to die in the point. Cat Face is in the most awkward angle for a sniper ever, but he'll surely find a kill eventually. Just look at him. Look at him go. Look at him go. He gets a headshot on Hubby. <laughs> look at this. Hubby <laughs> actually got rolled, but he didn't die. That's so sad. Sometimes it's better to just be quiet and watch. That's my fear right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm taking a backseat here a little bit. But they have, they have the ad. They found their way. And uh, the Freytech are one step closer to finding themselves with the one map advantage. Yeah, Freytech might win this, but this is no sure thing by any means. I'm, if these two teams do the grand finals, I'd be very excited. It's speedy engineering cat face heavy this time okay. around. They they it kind of makes things up. Here comes in. the Uber. Is this it for... I, I gotta see if they can just... They don't have any kills right now. No oh, kills. Cozy could do this. Cozy oh, could do this. They gotta block. Hubbard's dead. They have to block. They have to block. block. They, have to they, block. they get Hubbard. They get good, good, but the point time. The point time is so high. They have the heal advantage. The maze gonna die to crater damage. Only two left it's, alive. It's, two, it's 2v3. 2v3. Right, it's just yeah. Habib left alive and Habib's gonna back. Oh no. Habib's going for it. Habib's going for it. Does he get it? Oh my god, he won. Habib, oh he my it. god, the king is back, my friend. Habib clutches out and secures the upper bracket advantage for Froyotech in the grand finals. In chat. <laughs> oh my god. The disrespect pays off. Oh my god. What a way so, to end that BO3. Habib the ringer doing it himself. Jeez. Right, that, that BO3 was a, a game and a half. That was a game and a half. I am excited for Habib is apologizing now. <laughs> All right, well, it's time to check the stat. Even though, even though Freya Tech won, I still want to see the speedy heavy stats, please. I do too. Open up that manually.
Let's see. That was a crazy game. I'm just like kind of taking it all in. That was that was a wild one. Same. Sometimes actions speak louder than words. They do. Okay, I'm looking. Let's see. It's gonna be a log with a lot of views. From the most recent sunshine log, probably. There what we go. Else? Sunshine. What, what, what yep. Other okay. Right now? Be Speedy has nine and four in heavy. Not bad. Not, not bad quite, at all. Not quite. Speedy actually with 32 and 17. It. Yeah, you take those. Yep. At the end of the day, it's the Freud Tech show, though. It was a close game, though. So when you do a lot of stack comparisons. You know, there's, it's kind of hard to find, like, stark contrast. You have to, like, nitpick about the rounds. Especially because the rounds were gotten in way different ways. I think most of, am I remembering right that Cozy, the way they got ground sometimes was, like, especially in the last, was, like, kind of free from doing good stuff elsewhere, while Frontex yeah. was, like, they Ubered in and it worked out. Yeah. So different methods of actually, like, securing the, the cap as well. Like, one yeah, of that, the was a, that was a nail biter, so. though. But It'll be interesting to see this matchup. It It'll be interesting to see this matchup tomorrow. Assuming we see these same two teams again, which is by no means a guaranteed thing. I mean, it's definitely possible. It's it's possible, and I'd be interested to see, because next time they're going to have Logan instead of Habib, and Habib definitely showed up. So Logan, Logan's got to show up. Not that Logan, you know, again, Logan is Habib too, but you know, sometimes Habib is just different, and uh, I think he showed there why, you know, Habib is the best demo in TF2. <laughs> Yeah, so Froyotech, they will move on to the Grand Finals, and they'll be playing the Grand Finals tomorrow at 8 EST, while Cozy Black will move down into the lowers. Uh, they aren't playing a match up next right now, because there's more lower bracket to whittle down, so you have a, their opponent refined, but they will have another match uh, later on tonight as a third BO3. But uh, we do have, uh, we do keep the ball rolling. There's three Boo 3s a day. That was just the first one, so there's more Tief 2 to be watched tonight. When is Don't... the second one? Uh, the second one should be soon ish. Let's see, okay. Saturday, it's, it's lower like right... semifinals at 7 30. Oh, we ran over by 15 minutes. Oh, uh, so that means this break's probably going to be pretty short. Oh, they're. Oh, okay. we're, just, we're just going right into it. All right. I'm a. Uh... I was gonna say I should drink some water while we connect, but then I'm gonna, that makes you talk. We we do the little classic two minute intermission and then we go back straight into the next match. I think okay, that's, that a, works that's for a me. solid deal. So don't go too far because the match is starting. Extremely yeah, the match soon. is starting literally right now. It's between uh, who's it between? Let's see. It's between well, GC and Maga. So the third and the fifth seed, which means that the Mafia has been eliminated and Rome has been eliminated. All right, be right back officially. <laughs> 